Okey, uh, bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, selamat sejahtera dan selamat petang. Okey. Pagi tadi kita dah selesai kan? Kita dah uh, menyiasat dan juga membedah artikel jurnal di bahagian tajuk abstrak dan juga uh, penulisan di bahagian introduction, bahagian pengenalan. Okey, untuk petang ni kita terus untuk membedah kan beberapa jurnal di bahagian kajian literatur okey dan kemudian kita akan masuk di bahagian metodologi okey uh, saya sebenarnya menunggu eh sebab tu saya tak mulakan 12 uh, 12 pula dua suku tadi kita mulakan 2.5 saya rasa kita kena mulakan sebab ada banyak lagi sebenarnya kalau you tengok slide banyak lagi dan kita ada 500 slide So especially dekat bahagian literature review lah Metodologi pun banyak sebenarnya So metodologi pun kita pecah di bahagian uh, Kualitatif, kuantitatif, mixed method ha, Jadi kita banyak yang nak cover okay. okay kita pergi kepada bincang penulisan perenggan di kajian literatur Okay kita ambil satu contoh di sini dan untuk yang baru join petang ni kita akan melibatkan pelbagai bidang eh pelbagai bidang jadi kita akan melibatkan contoh-contoh yang multiple discipline jadi yang dekat sini kita bukan nak nak study topik dia tapi nak ambil uh, teknik dan juga pembinaan ayat demi ayat perenggan demi perenggan dalam penulisan literature review sekarang petang ni literature review pagi tadi pengenalan okey Artikel ni kalau tengok design ni kita tahulah ini ada daripada Publisher Emerald eh. So an empirical study of the challenge facing zakat and wakaf institution in northern uh, Nigeria. Okey, penulis seorang saja. Eh, walaupun kajian ni di di northern Nigeria tapi affiliation dia daripada Malaysia, daripada Isra eh. Okey, ni basic simple je. Literature review dimulakan dengan ada sedikit pendahuluan and the Literature review ni, dia ceritalah Abundance of research has been conducted on zakat and wakaf This literature review, however, focus on the research Most relevant to the context of the paper So dia nak beritahu lah dalam kajian ni akan fokus kepada Tentang topik zakat dan wakaf ha, Jadi ini ayat paling simple lah dimulakan dengan literature review yang macam ni okay. Kemudian contoh paper Abid Halim ya, Ini Halim et al dari India ni dia buat research status in halal a review and bibliometrics analysis so bibliometric analysis adalah salah satu artikel yang kita boleh review berdasarkan kajian kajian lepas okey dia cerita tentang apa itu literature review ha, so saya letak kat sini yang warna hijau ni kan dia mulakan dengan literature review dengan menulis apa itu literature review so dia kata literature review is an essential work to be done before initiating any research project so dia site lah eh sorry dia site daripada Kurana 2019 so tak tahu pada pandangan saya tak perlu cerita definisi literature review tapi ini contoh kita nak tengok pel banyak banyak pel, banyak dan pelbagai contoh so ada yang mulakan penulisan literature review dengan menjelaskan atau memberi makna apa itu literature it assess the relevant literature of the area so kita melihat semua aspek literature yang relevans di pelbagai area to map the work done and find out the possible research gap so kita explore kan kita melihat pelbagai perspektif keluasan and to map tu keluasan so anything possible and yang boleh kita katakan sebagai kelompongan kajian research gap which is will help to in strengthening strengthening the body of the knowledge ha, ini siapa ini nama-nama besar ni Tranfield Tranfield ni biasa kita cite dia dalam bila kita buat SLR eh, dan Sufian 2019. Tu maksudnya ada yang mula menulis literature review dengan menjelaskan apa maksud literature review. Okey, kita pergi next. Okey. Ni kajian daripada sekolah daripada Malaysia kan eh, dicita study read REIT a uh, uh, conventional uh, reads, Islamic reads and macroeconomics variable in Malaysia. Dia buat a review kat sini. Okey, dia cerita literature review dari segi content. So dia cerita dulu perenggan yang pertama dalam literature review dia cerita tentang content atau kandungan literature review. Uh, since uh, since the establish of it, 
study on this investment instrument have been conducted in variety uh, of market and form. Okay, these sections will first focus. Ah, uh, cerita dari segi susunan. Kalau kita tengok cara menulis ni, eh, dia, dia mulakan this section will first focus. Dia mula dia focus on overview of Malaysia read development. Kemudian dia follow by discussion on Islamic read. Batu in then review the literature review or relationship. This section conclude with the discussion. Okay, kalau kita compare dengan sesi pagi tadi. So basically kita akan cerita outline dalam section pengenalan di perenggan yang terakhir bersama-sama dengan expected ataupun contributions. Expected contribution. Jadi untuk literature review ni contoh untuk paper yang ni dia mulakan dari segi perenggan awal lagi. Perenggan awal lagi dia dah bagi tahu first paragraph dia dah bagi tahu dah content yang ada, kandungan yang ada dalam section literature review. So dia beritahu lah first dia nak discuss pasal apa, follow, lepas tu then, lepas tu dia conclude. Okay, conclude discussion on the hypothesis development in the study. So dalam literature review dia akan end dengan pembangunan hypo hypothesis. Okay, yang ni paper daripada orang Malaysia juga, Harmonizing and Constructing Integrated Makasid Syariah Index for Measuring the Performance of Islamic Bank. Okay, dekat sini kita tengok literature review, kita kata namakan apa reason dia tulis dua perenggan ni kita katakan by category. Saya nampak tu first group, second group, ada third group. Okay, based on this writing, dia mention that previous study which have measure IB performance can be classified into three category. So dia start lagi. Awal-awal dia beritahu dah dia nak pecahkan on discussion on the literature review ni based on the tiga category. The first group comprise comparative work. Uh, analyzing IB and CB with conventional yet stick. Okay. Second group consists mixed mode study. We have modified the measure of the S component of camels, which is sensitive to market risk into syariah performance measurement. So next, uh, third group include theoretical and exploratory work, which usually began with the qualitative approach to construct the yet stick. Follow the use analyzing the IB performance. So dia ceritalah and dia based on the previous study, dia klasifikan tiga kategori. Untuk kajian daripada Abdullah et al ni daripada Malaysia juga kan eh, micro enterprise development trainings and entrepreneurial competency among low income household in Malaysia. Kat sini kita tengok dia nak cerita dalam satu perenggan and eh, melibatkan fokus dan teori. So ini kan kita nak tunjukkan uh, ramai kita tertanya-tanya apa yang sepatutnya kita tulis di bahagian literature ni. Maksudnya apa kandungan yang perlu ditulis dalam literature review. So the first paragraph, the first paragraph in literature review apa yang nak cerita. Yang tu yang saya cuba nak nak tunjuk ada kepelbagaian, ada yang mulakan dengan fokus dengan teori, ada yang fokus by group, ada yang fokus by content, ada yang fokus tentang definisi of literature, apa yang start dengan introduction, uh, maksudnya ada ada intro lah. Uh, maksudnya nak beritahu apa topik uh, yang dia nak fokus dalam bahagian section literature review. Kita sambung tadi bahagian fokus dengan teori. Kalau tulis kat sini, this study attempt to empirically examine the effect. So, dia fokus tu menunjuk pada objektif lah. Eh. Dia nak tahu effect enterprise development training program on entrepreneurial competency. So, dia ceritalah beberapa citation. Entrepreneurial competency is the aggregate ability towards successful job roles performance. So, ada scholar of start by the men sampai Al Mahmoon et al. Okay, among other found that entrepreneurial competency positive impact firm performance. Betul sambung. This phenomenon can be explained by the resource review. So dia gunakan teori tentang dia guna teori tentang RBB. So apa itu RBB? RBB stipulate that resources which are owned by manage can observe can serve sorry can serve to create and implement strategies to improve effectiveness and efficiency to support by bani lah. In this context, kajian ni lah kan. In this context, entrepreneurial competency are the resources iaitu capability. A trade and skill inherence with the entrepreneur that can can channels to an increasing firm performance. Tambahan lagi dalam bandis pemusnahan suggest that firm value creation focus sorry a creation process solely lies in the owner's manager ability in acquiring the resources. Therefore, nasuban ngai tu fit dengan bandi RPV and based on the previous study and focus and micro entrepreneur with the similar contact, it can be assumed. Ini sangat penting. So kita kalau dalam pemilihan Teori, 
Selain daripada kita cerita sedikit definisi dan kita refer kepada scholar So ada justified atau additional macam ni lah Furthermore dan sebagainya So kita kena buat argument lah Sebab tu therefore fit into the Bani RBB And based on the peer study and focus in micro entrepreneurship Melihat kepada beberapa kajian-kajian dalam bidang entrepreneurship pun rujuk RBB It can be assumed Ini poin penting ni It can be assumed that entrepreneurial competency own manager of firm that identify required resources can lead to superior performance wherein such required competency are triggered by relevant training program. Dan dia support beberapa scholar juga dekat bawah tu. And, maksudnya, dia beritahu awal fokus kajian dia berkaitan dengan entrepreneurial competencies um, effects towards performance. So dia tengok kat sini Teori dia gunakan RBV lah. So, dia bagi justifikasi plus bagi argument lah. Uh, can, can, argument which is can be conclude that why this study suitable use this RBV dan juga dia proof by others support research, previous research bahawa ini adalah bersesuaian. Okay, next. Paper daripada, ni koleksi daripada paper Malaysia sebenarnya. Eh. Saya tengok and uh, pelbagai bidang. Understanding purchase intention of university students towards skin care product. Eh, kita nak tengok dari segi uh, purchase intention. Uh, keinginan untuk pembelian. Lah. Memahami keinginan pembelian di kalangan pelajar universiti terhadap produk skin care. Eh? Okay, dia cerita terus. Uh, ni, ni menarik kat sini. Dia terus bagi subtopik terus. Uh, dia tulis literature review. Dia bagi subtopik terus. Purchase intention. Ha, jadi kat sini pun kita tahu, oh, buat macam ni pun boleh kan? Ha, boleh. Terus pergi pada first topic kita. Spesifik terus. Ha, tulis literature review, terus purchase intention. Purchase intention refer to individual likeliness to acquire certain product can be also crucial aspect in measure consumer behavior. Biasa ni lah orang dia, fish bin and azdan ni. Ha, and kemudian ada beberapa sekolah lain, Blackwell have defined purchase intention is what we think we will buy. Ha, okay. According purchase intention can be used to quantify tendency as consumer to buy a product and the relationship between these two components such that stronger to purchase intention, greater consumer decide to purchase product. So, ada berapa sekolah lagi. So, they start dengan first topic. Okay, next paper, household waste separations, separations intention and the importance of public policy. Ini ada dua sekolah daripada HAPS University. Okay. Kat sini pun dia pecah 2.1. Macam tadi dia pergi satu topik je. Purchase intention. So yang ni dia pergi literature review. So dia pecah 2.1. Waste management policy in Asia. 2.1.1. Dia subsection waste management policy in Malaysia. So kita pun boleh start penyusahan literature review macam ni. Okay. 2.0 literature review. 2.1 waste management policy in Asia. So 2.1.1 waste management policy in Malaysia. Mula-mula dia go through Asia. So, dalam tu kita subsession focus in Malaysia. So, kita boleh susun kita punya penulisan literature review pun tulis macam ni. Okay. Okay, next paper adalah The Impact of Monetary Policy on Islamic Bank Franchise, uh, bank Financing, Bank Level Evidence uh, from from Malaysia. So, ini dia tulis oleh seorang saja, Muhammad Zul Khibri. Okay, tapi daripada Saudi Arabia. Okay, kat sini dia tak 2.0 tu adalah dia tak letak literature review. So, dia letak paper. Dia letak topik dia adalah overview of Malaysia Islamic financial industry. And overview of Malaysia Islamic financial industry. So, dia start lah. Malaysia Islamic finance industry has been assistance. Lebih daripada 30 tahun. The enactment of Islamic Banking Act 1983 enabled that country first Islamic bank, Bank Islam, Malaysia Berhad. To be established. Okay. Malaysia overall strategy in the development of Islamic banking can be summarized under four pillar. So, dia... Dia can be overall strategi ni kita boleh lihat based pada can be summarized. Dia boleh dirumuskan menunjuk pada empat pillar ni lah. Full flag Islamic banking system operate a parallel basis with the full flag conventional system. Okay, dual banking system. Second, step by step approach to contact overall long term strategy. Comprehensive of Islamic banking legalization on the syariah, common syariah supervised concern for Islamic banking institution. Number three. Dan pillar number four is practical and open minded approach in develop Islamic financial interest. So, ada ada empat pilar lah. So kalau tengok Malaysia punya overall strategi, development of Islamic banking. So dia start cerita tentang topik. Topik dia terus, dia tak letak literature review, tapi dia terus tak dua. Jadi boleh eh, nombor 1.0 introduction, ataupun satu introduction, dua terus overview Malaysia Islamic financial industry, no need put literature review. Kalau nak letak literature review, boleh macam ni tadi. 
literature review 2.1 2.1.1 ataupun macam ni tadi literature review tak letak point letak terus purchase intention tapi kalau tak nak letak perkataan literature review pun boleh terus pergi pada topic ha, topic by topic so yang ni prosumer resource management tadi kita dah tengok dah paper ni berkaitan dengan penulisan di bahagian pengenalan tapi kat kita kat sini kita nak tengok dekat bahagian literature review how that cara dia menulis literature review untuk topik propose human resource management and zakat uh, model for zakat institution in Malaysia. Okey, dia terus masuk topik importance elements in constructing human resource management model for zakat institution. So masuk topik terus. Eh, dia tak ada letak literature review. So dia cerita this section discuss typically component of HRM uh, that can be found in literature on conventional organization uh, namely Uh, recruitment, selection, performance, appraisal, training and development compensation they are deliberates from perspective of zakat operation in Malaysia. Okay, ni what, what MDB, uh, corruptions, scandals in Malaysia, the study failing in the control and accountability. Uh, orang luar suka study kat Malaysia benda-benda macam ni kan? Uh, kan? So kat sini kita kata aim, uh, dia buat ada dua lah, aim, kedua tiga sorry, aims, corporate structure and funding of IM1 ni right YMDB ni so YMDB begin start atau begin as the Terengganu Investment Authority lah TIA launched by Menteri Besar Chief Minister of State of Terengganu Ahmad Said in February 2009 it was set up as the holding and investment company for state that was funded initially by bond issue by 5 millions kalau you convert US million 1.9 million lah so ikut ikut tadi artikel ni dikeluarkan lah. Di September 2009, September 2009 is changed the status Malaysia National Investment Fund under name I1DB, YMDB. Yang own direct only own by Malaysia government through Ministry of Finance. Okay. Alright. Okay. Ini paper yang seterusnya. Tajuk dia Contemporary Issue in a, of Form and Substance and Islamic Law Perspective. So ini tulis oleh researcher daripada Malaysia juga. Okay. Okay. Dia terus masuk topik lah. Form and substance. Syariah perspektif. Ni kalau Islamik lah. Eh. So terus masuk in principle syariah. Emphasize that every contract must comply with the legal form. So this implies that the form and substance of transaction are both necessary. However, most Islamic financial product are designed by using series of contract. So yang ni cara penulisan. Yang mana sama macam tadi juga contoh-contoh-contoh beberapa contoh yang lain nak tunjukkan bahawa dekat penulisan literature review terus boleh masuk dekat specific topic. Okay, uh, though decent work conditions contribute to work life balance. So ni sekolah daripada Bangladesh ni kolaboratif antara uh, Bangladesh dan juga uh, Malaysia. State of the art. Maksudnya dia terus masuk topik tapi dalam topik tu ada sub topik. Ha uh, yeah. Tadi ada macam ni tapi dia tulis literature review bawah tulis pada topik. Yang ni bukan literature review direct pada first topic. Tapi dia ada sub topik dia the concept of decent work. So dia ceritalah. The concept of decent work was expressions in the form of quality of labor and was presented in the report of director general of international labor conference meeting and untuk meeting untuk 87 session uh, 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 sessions in 1999. And the report explained four constituents pillar of decent work iaitu employment, social security, worker right and social dialogue. Okay. Ni maksudnya ada specific topik dan bawah tu ada sub topik terus. Uh, tak cerita lagi state of the art tapi dia terus pergi pada first topik dia iaitu the concept of decent work. Okay, ni paper daripada kolaborasi dan antara Saudi Arabia dan juga Malaysia social media and corporate communication antecedents and antecedents of SME sustainability performance a conceptual framework and for SME of the Arab world uh, dia pakai istilah Arab world uh, and okay dia terus masuk topik the agenda of sustainability so dia ceritalah the sustainability agenda is issue to wider spectrum okay bla 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 so kat bawah tu dia kata according to definition given by world bank Ha, so dia letak titik dia bertindih corporate social responsibility is a commitment of business contribute so kita boleh buat kod macam tu lah kan. Ni direct lah kan. So jangan buat banyak. Ni kalau buat banyak macam ni banyak kena teri in. Sebab ini kita ambil direct kita copy daripada daripada World Bank. So apa dia berbincang cakap corporate social mobility is the commitment of business to contribute to sustainable economic development, working with employee, their families, the local community, society and large improve the quality of life in ways that the good for business and developments. 
Okay, next yang ke-14 uh, strategic improvisations and high HEI uh, performance in the moderating role of organizational culture. Uh, HEI itu adalah higher education institution. Eh? So yang ni dia buat tentang topik juga. Uh, so literature review dia start dengan topik strategic improvisation and organizational performance. Okay, dia cakap for decade uh, strategic planning has been considered as the only best way to ensure capital advantage by corporate leader in the late 1960s. However, organizations struggling for surviving the needs to adapt to the rapid changing environment to improvisation. Ah, uh, terus sambunganlah, kan? Maksudnya kat sini pun sama macam tadi lah, ada specific topic. Okay, next, uh, innovative assignment rubric for ODL uh, courses based on design, implementation and impact. Okay, ada skor seorang je scholar daripada Malaysia. So, dia buat terus topik dia justification for innovation. Ha, dia ceritalah satu perenggan panjang ni. Ha, kalau tengok cara penulisan dia berapa-apa. Satu, dua, tiga, empat, lima, enam, tujuh. Lepas sembilan, sepuluh, sebelah, dua belah, tiga belas. Empat belah, lima belah, enam belah, dua belah, empat belah, sepuluh belah. So, sembilan belas line dalam satu perenggan. Bagi saya panjang lah. So, tapi dia ceritalah justification for innovation. The start assignment, rubric, come out, come in various form which have with some heavy complex description of what learns need to achieve whereas some of simple and specific description. In addition, in additional uh, learning setting and lecturer and tutor who are the subject matter expert who have the crafted the rubric and will to eventually mark the assignment have the opportunity to physically explain and deliberate on this discussion in the classroom so that the learner have the understanding what is expected from them. So yang ni banyak lagi lah, dia justify lah uh, dalam konteks kajian ni justification for innovation. Okay, can change leadership impact on the staff organization citizen behavior? The scenario form for Malaysia. Okay, yang ni dia punya topik cerita tentang theoretical foundation and conceptual framework. Ah, menarik. Dia start je buat dua ni. Cerita theoretical foundation dan juga conceptual framework. So, dia mention lah. In this study, two different theories. Dia guna dua teori yang berlainan. Include the change leadership theory and organizational citizenship behavior theory. We examine. Each of this is discussed extensively in the next paragraph. Okay, dia mulakan macam itulah. Dia ceritalah kajian ni menggunakan dua teori. So, each this discuss lebih lanjut untuk perenggan seterusnya. Okay, next. Can change leadership impact on the staff organizational citizenship behavior a scenario from Malaysia. Ha, so, yang ni pun, oh sorry. Sama je, hampir sama eh. Sekejap uh, ni. Jadi ni tadi kan. Okay, ni. Predictor of knowledge transfer between expatriate and host country national. Uh, share vision and mediator. Sorry, share vision as mediator. So kat sini kita tengok theoretical justification on the literature review lah. Sama jugalah. Tapi dia beza sikit. Dia buat tadi theoretical and conceptual framework. Yang tadi tadi kan. Uh, theoretical foundation and conceptual framework. Yang ni dia start with theoretical justification and literature review. Uh, This theory, the three theory was used to support the research framework of this study. First is the signaling theory to investigate communication between individual parties. Uh, signal theory is called the apa, signal theory. Okay. Typically, one part of the standard must choose the whether the how to communicate. Uh, okay. So, ini dia cerita tentang pemilihan, kenapa justifikasi pemilihan teori dan juga penulisan literature review. Okay, yang ke-18, an investigation of magnet effect via overnight return, the Malaysia case. Okay, sekolah pun daripada Malaysia. So, kita cerita review of literature. Ha, sama macam daripada depan tadi lah. Tadi kita boleh literature review. Yang ni adalah uh, review of literature. Okay, kelebihan kat sini adalah bab dua ni dia mula dalam penulisan literature dengan hal sejarah. Ha, historical backdrop. Ha, dia mulakan dengan sejarah. Perkara-perkara yang lama dulu. Okay, research on circuit breakers space period or Brady Commission 1988 report. Ha, ni 1988 itu menunjukkan bahawa menceritakan hal-hal yang terdahulu dulu and historical part. Okay, kemudian dari segi aspek theoretical research. Lepas cerita historical backdrop, kemudian ada cerita theoretical research. Ha, so, dia ceritalah bagaimana dengan, dengan theoretical research. Okay, yang ke-19 adalah uh, berkaitan dengan topik uh, seterusnya adalah topik Promoting customer brand ni. Promoting customer brand engagement and brand loyalty through customer brand identification and value congruity. And so, dia letak terus conceptual framework. Lagi best. 
Uh, bagian satu introduction kan. Bagian dua terus letak conceptual framework. And the conceptual framework as present and figure one. So ada yang mulakan penulisan literature review terus memasukkan conceptual framework lah untuk kaitan consumer brand apa value concurrency towards to customer brand engagement, consumer brand identification towards the brand loyalty. Okay, next kita nak bedah dan bincang. Okay, boleh ya? Eh? Setakat ni ada soalan. So tadi saya buat rumusan sikit. Uh, kita dah bincang beberapa literature review tadi. So kita tahu penulisan literature review bagaimana. So kita terus uh, sikit buat conclusion untuk bagian ni. So kita boleh start dengan penulisan literature review dengan menulis tentang pendahuluan atau muka dimah. Okay, kita boleh penulisan literature review untuk perenggan pertama jelaskan apa itu literature. Okey, kita boleh juga penulis literature review di peringkat awal bagi tahu konten yang ada dalam literature review ni. Ha, contoh first section apa, second section dan last section apa. Okey, kemudian kita boleh tulis literature review by category. Dalam kes ni category adalah group. Okey, kemudian kita boleh tulis perkara awal dalam literature review adalah perkataan focus dan teori. Okey, kita boleh tulis peringkat awal terus pada literature review, pada topik terus. Ha, tanpa explain literature review kita terus pergi pada first first apa first topic okey kita boleh juga buat literature review katalah literature review 2.0 terus di 2.1 waste management policy 2.21 waste management policy in Malaysia okey kemudian kita bincang tentang topik tak ayat tulis literature review terus pergi pada topik ada beberapa contoh kat sini yang ni yang yang ni pun pakai topik okey yang ni pun pakai topik yang ni pun pakai topik and so kita terus pergi pada topik lah and tak perlu tulis literature review bawah topik satu topik dua okey so kita boleh juga tulis dalam literature review dimulakan dengan aspek theoretical dengan conceptual okey ataupun theoretical dengan literature review okey kita boleh start juga penulisan literature review dengan perkara sejarah and menulis dari segi aspek theoretical okey kita boleh tulis dari segi uh, conceptual framework ya yeah? Okey, itu antara idea-idea untuk bahagian-bahagian awal, especially bahagian introduction. Bagaimana kita nak tulis introduction dengan baik dengan melihat pelbagai contoh-contoh yang pelbagai dalam menulis bahagian pengenalan. Eh, sorry, bahagian literature review. Okey, kita nak pergi kat sini adalah bedah dan bincang untuk menulis perenggan membangunkan rajah. So, uh, dalam tip semalam banyak kali saya sebut, saya ingat lebih daripada lima kali saya sebut bahawa dalam penulisan artikel ni dari segi presentation tu penting. Ada infografik. Ada rajah, ada table sangat penting. So kita nak tengok bagaimana untuk penghasilan sebuah penulisan literature review yang mana kita boleh selitkan kita punya rajah dan juga figure. Ha, contoh ni lah paper daripada Dimension of Organizational Performance, a review. So dia cerita lah. Okay. The literature review uh, shield light extensively on critical aspect influencing organizational performance at the workplace environment okay which is leadership approach organizational culture organizational system and structure organizational climate resources expertise and organizational adaptation in display in figure 2 so this is a this is a apa a uh, figure 2 aspect impacting on the organizational performance inilah gambar raja dia uh, so kita kena ada arahan dulu kan jadi tak boleh letak gambar raja tapi tak ada arahan macam ni yang dikata Okay, based on the literature review, kita nak critical aspect influence organisation performance. Itulah leadership, organisation culture, organisation system, structure, organisation climate, resources, expertise, organisation adaptation as display in figure tu. Ni lah figure tu. Okay, paper lain, crafting a web's unique value proposition, proposition using the concept analysis technique. So, dia ceritalah kan, uh, yang dekat atas tu, dia cerita dulu sebelum kita ceritakan mengenai ajar. The rational for using this method was twofold. Uh, first, concept is abstract, uh, common, uh, sekejap, sorry, tak nampak itu. Abstract of the common characteristic that the dynamic and contextual uh, rather than universal idea that are absolutely is aligned is with the nature and perspective of the value proposition is part of the bigger picture such as inductive methodology will yield to better understanding of the concept value proposition the life cycle is value proposition is presented so ada tunjuk gambar ni ha, so dia kata macam mana nak boleh literature review boleh letakkan gambar raja gambar raja ni kadang-kadang kita buat design kita sendiri eh, macam mana nak nampakkan keterkaitan antara satu konstruk dan satu konstruk lagi ok ha, ini paper kita dah tengok tadi dekat bahagian pagi tadi bahagian pengenalan cuma kat sini kita nak tengok dekat literature review bergambar Conceptual framework of time based on the Japanese subject principle. Contoh dia macam ni. Okay. The simplified version now. Sedap ayat dia. And the simplified, uh, the simplified uh, 
the simplified version of this model show in figure 2 the relationship between engineering design and scientific inquiry can be interpreted as a then okey yang ni dalam figure 2 ni nak tunjukkan relationship between engineering design and scientific inquiry can be interpreted kan dapat dijelaskan in term of a dynamic and interrelated two way activity so buatlah gambar aja macam ni ada questioning untuk untuk scientific inquiry kita ada engineering design proposal phase ya kan okey ini paper daripada Iran dan juga collaborate dengan Malaysia collective hybrid intelligence towards a conceptual framework okey kita lihat macam nilah eh beside proposing model computing perspective stage i is greatly relate to the concept discussed in the previous session such relationship are illustrate in figure 5 so kadang-kadang kita mampu untuk buat illustrate eh ha, jadi kat sini contoh satu artikel yang mana dia tunjukkan hubungan itu dalam gambar rajah di bawah ada siap mention in figure 5 Okay, yang ni propose human resource management models for zakat institution. Kita tengok gambar rajah dia kan. So kat sini cerita lah. This session present proposed model which could be, sorry, which could be useful reference for many zakat institution in Malaysia. Enhance the HRM in figure 3. So zakat institution are able to design their own human zakat resource strategy by refer to certain principles simple proper HRM iaitu ada recruitment, selection, performance, appraisal, training and developments. Zakat pula, distribution goal and zakat management strategy will serve to parameter the design human resource strategy of zakat institution. In other words, all effort that hand zakat talent management must be aligned. Okay. Okay, ni gambar rajah dia lah. Dia lukiskan proposed HRM model. For zakat, kita nampak kat sini, dekat dalam tu isu tentang pengurusan zakat, institution. Dekat luar tu, elemen-elemen HR, start with their equipment, selection, performance appraisal, external environment, training and juga compensation. Okay, paper yang seterusnya adalah uh, Innovation Ecosystem, a Conceptual Review and New Definition. Okay, ada gambar lah kat sini. Uh, kalau kita tengok kaitan antara institution dengan actor, activities dengan artifact. Okay, dengan merujuk pada figure 1, they speak the main component of our, of our proposed definition can, can some, sorry, definition, some comment can be made in relationship to the figure. Relations uh multiple different character which entity type of the example between two character or between two artifact they may be include complementary and substitute relations relations uh, and between entity type they may include ownership and use a right transformative relations and externalities it is refer to the rule of the of the game okay so itu penjelasan dia lah okay. okay next paper adalah importance performance analysis uh and Important performance analysis uh, to inform visitor management at the marine uh, wildlife tourism destination. Okay, so dia ada format dia sendiri kalau abstract dia kan. Tapi kita nak tengokkan literature review kat sini. Kan? Dari segi figure dan table. So dia cerita kat sini lah kan. Okay, dengan ada rujuk uh, figure 1, uh, refer section 4.1. Okay, katalah ni figure point 1. Okay. In IPA typically display a two dimension plot with the importance of attribute rank on the vertical axis and principal performance of the attribute plot on the horizontal axis of the IPA metric. So kita kita tunjukkanlah gambar dia kat figure 1 tu. Important performance metric ada macam ni, ada high, ada low untuk important dengan performance. Okay. Can change leadership impact on the staff organization? Citizen uh, citizenship Behavior as scenario from Malaysia. Okay, ni contoh lah kan. Based these two theory, we can come up with the conceptual framework to guide study and presented in the figure one. So ni figure one lah. Okay, tunjukkan bahawa change leadership toward kepada confidence, motivation, trust, teamwork, student engagement, high productivity based by the personal force and organization force by higher the institution, social culture force eh, daripada another side lah. So, Kita ada social culture force, personal force dengan organisation force. Okay, in order to increase confidence, motivation, trust, teamwork, student engagement, higher productivity melalui change leadership efforts. Okay, a uh, qualitative uh, validation of the financial affordable Islamic home financing models. So, dekat sini ada poin penting. Okay, saya rasa menarik kat sini nak share. Dia cerita musyarakah mutanah kisah home financial arrangement, figure one. Show that the structure the proposed financial agreement under CWFC MM models. You show that MM arrangement will be involved 
three distinct contract namely the contract for syariah partnership contract ijarah lease and the big sales contract the proposed m uh, arrangement involve the following step stage okey ha dekat sini contohlah dia cerita dekat the proposed fsm arrangement involve the following stage ada beberapa lah uh, okey yang pertama adalah member customer identify the host the house pay and deposit okey uh, once the application has been approved the fc will settle the remaining 90% of the vendors uh, member customer uh, list that fc is share in the house the partnership is terminate when the member own their total share the house which which is a title will be transformed to him or her ha, ini satu kaedah lah eh nak structure tentang financial arrangement under CWFC MM okey ni contoh MM uh, home financial arrangement ni gambar dia yang kita boleh share dalam kita punya Uh, kita punya dalam penulisan okey kalau kita nak review okey and a quality a quality inquiry into the cash workup model as a source of financial for micro enterprise so dia cerita dululah the study by taker and dusa and taker have suggest icwme model improving financial ability to micro enterprise in malaysia so icwme model basically provide financial facility through the use of cash workup This also involve the participatory contract between Islamic volunteer organisation, particularly wakaf institution and micro enterprise. The model which is they illustrate di kat bawah ni lah. Eh? Okay, ini uh, paper saya sendiri, the development of strategic balance score cards. So, kat sini, in order to implement, uh, so ni bagi literature review kan. Eh? In order to implement balance score card, a couple of terms, propose the multiple performance measurement using the BS, BSC approach, balance score card approach. This comprehensive measure by performance are based on four measures, financial, customer, business, and operation and innovations. However, Kaplan, Norton, and Cecil argue that BSC is not only about performance measurement. It is also aligned with organization, we align with management, we directly translate regulation strategy into Asia-oriented plan. In addition that Kaplan and Norton develop SMS as show is. Okay, ini contohlah eh, nak cerita tentang nak meyakinkan aspek ni sangat penting dalam penulisan literature. Okay, ini gambar rajah dia lah. Eh. Okay, next, Lean Sigma Performance Improvement Tool for Automotive Supplier. Ni my paper juga. Saya tulis kat literature review, inside the set for benchmarking section, the relative weeks of the measure will be calculated to obtain the company score. The proton manager has to determine weight using the pairwise comparison form. He can conduct, and he just conduct the, the strategic factor criteria and subsequent criteria of each factor. For example, the mention of strategic factor criteria was determined using the page as presented in figure T, figure 아, 닥터 터 뮤트 닥터. 오케이, 소리 소리. 에, 소리. 제가 ulang untuk bahagian ini. Uh, ya ini kita nak tengok paper saya sendiri kan. Uh, sustainable management practice. So dekat sini kita nak beritahu tentang penerangan saya. Kenapa saya gun saya gunakan method apa to increase emphasis of same technique. So this perform that require statistical analysis. This paper employ same technique untuk interrelationship between SMP SL and SMP so kita boleh lihat pada figure 1 figure 1 yang ni lah ha, ni gambar rajah tu ok this proposed model has adopted by conceptual proposed by Miller however some amendment especially on SMP SL and SMP have been made uh, guna SPSS version 17 to use primary data and provide descriptive analysis what this is sample such as mean standard deviation frequency also same using uh, most will be used to test measurement models Okay, ni gambar rajah dia kan. Ini next paper lah saya, Exploring Lean Healthcare Practice and Supply Chain Innovations. So, ini contoh cara penulisan dia lah. And thus, this hypothesis have been developed based on the proper conceptual model. This product presented in figure. Ha, jadi, kita kita boleh menulis bagaimana penulisan dalam bagian literature review tu. Sebelum kita nak letak gambar rajah kat bawah, kita mesti ada ayat sikit lah. And. 
Okay ni gambar rajah dia Okay ni paper ni juga Saya buat paper conceptual Ni semua paper conceptual lah ni Paper conceptual Ni paper conceptual uh, eh, Ni semua paper conceptual Belakang-belakang ni paper conceptual Okay Okay the development of process Innovation and aggression performance Sama juga uh, saya cerita lah kan eh, Ambil yang bawah sekali lah Process innovation consists of radical process innovation, environmental process innovation, and process innovation. Meanwhile, pressurement and aggression performance through BS balance cockat, which is include financial performance, customer internal and process performance, innovation and learning growth performance. You present that proper this model. Okay, ni gambar rajah dia. And, uh, ni sama juga paper yang saya buat. Okay, ni paper ni adalah terbit di International Journal Automotive Technology. So, dekat literature dia, saya tulis the gender Distinguished construct analysis of the numerous proposed concept was performed. Table 1 present a list of similar practice proposed by different author for each generic construct. Then each construct was analyzed. So kita refer table 1, table 1 macam ni. So kita boleh buat table macam ni lah, table construct. Sebab penting dalam penulisan artikel jenis kena ada visual lah. And kalau tak dapat masuk kita punya uh, apa visual ataupun uh, figure, kita boleh masukkan juga jadual lah table. Okay, ni paper saya juga. Okay, record social responsibility practice. So, yang ni kita ceritalah CSR practice tu apa. Okay, last two point dia. Next, table one show the benefit of CSR practice by different authors. So, kita letak table kat bawah. Okay, ni jadual cerita tentang benefit CSR practice. Saya memang buat cara macam ni. Masukkan nama authors. Kemudian apa benefit tu CSR practice ke eh, kelebihan ke. Okay, ni paper seterusnya. Lean manufacturing practice ISO 4001 and water performance. So dia cerita lah, ni based pada construct dalam literature pun saya cerita, saya tulis Based on the review of the extent literature, the present author are summarized critical sense factor uh, Dia bermula daripada supply management, employee involvement, just in time, customer focus dan juga SPC Most of this factor was adopted, adopted ambil saja And adapted, ada yang ambil, ada yang kita ubah suai Based on the lean management practice present, uh, Presents SMP practice construct by different author for each construct Okay, kita letak juga table lah. Konstruk apa dan juga kita pilih detail. Okay, ni daripada in the science, investigate of Kaizen Bliss. Okay, sama juga table 2 show the previous study about SAP element and build the factor that influence successful. Okay. Kemudian letak table macam ni pun sesuai. A previous study about SP elements. So, letak lah. So, kalau Molden, score apa, score Hell, Marina Yusof, ni semua ni. So, kita tengok lah dia economic performance ke, environmental performance, social performance. Kita tengok lah. Kalau yang complete tiga-tiga, ada Morden, uh, Shaw and Her, uh, Bartelmus dan juga Singh. Memang kita cover ketiga-tiga lah. Economic performance, environmental performance dan social performance. Okay, ni ketika size factor of lead manufacturing practice. So, sama juga ada ayat dekat atas, bawah sekali table 1 show the summary of findings on some of relevant study and barrier of LMP implementation. So, table 1 kat bawah lah. So, ada authors Jiju dan Achanga, the focus of research at the main finding and critical size factor. Okay, LP also described with the various names such as lean production, lean manufacturing, lean total production system for in healthcare industry as the service uh, lean hospital and lean healthcare. Okay. One last kali tu dia kata wearing with hope address that the LP lean production may not be easy to achieve in market board efficiency and effectiveness improvement in healthcare. Table 1 show the critical success factor of LP. Ah, So inilah critical success factor pada kajian Anvari, management community aggression structure. So Holden ada tiga, uh, involvement, support and preparedness. Okay, uh, Alaskari dia ada dua, eh, sorry tiga, uh, top management, change of aggression culture and effective leadership. Dan seterusnya lah, Najib ada 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 Abidin ada 1, 2, 3, 4 dan 5 okay. Kundu ada 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 So setiap tu adalah kesesuaian yang kita kita nak summary kan lah Antara scholar dengan kita punya critical satisfactors okay. Dengan dengan apa? Dengan apa tema atau critical satisfactors lah dalam lean practice apa Ok, bedah bincang untuk menulis perenggan Membangunkan kerangka So tadi cerita tentang Macam mana nak tulis literature review Kemudian tulis literature review Dengan masukkan jadual dan dan figure Maksud table and figure Sekarang ni kita nak menulis dalam literature review Dengan memasukkan kerangka Dalam kita punya artikel
Okay. Uh, yang pertama adalah End Evaluation and Prevention Maintenance Framework in the Italian Manufacturing Company. Okay, tengok yang kat sini. Letak gambar kan, dia kata the framework. This framework is based on integration and interconnection among different tool described in section 2. The development framework of this tool have been modified in order to uh, reach higher uh, reach higher level uh, mana ni? Reach higher level of standardized and modularization. Show the interconnection bet between different two. So, yang penting lah ni. So, ada EVO, kena ada machine lega, ledger. Kita ada checklist dan standard maintenance procedure. Okay, AHP, sorry, analytical frameworks for interdisciplinary collaboration in inclusive education. Nah, so, uh, ni sama juga tadi eh, sekejap eh. Oh, ni bukan ni sama pada yang ni. Okay, analytic framework ni, uh, dia ada framework ni. Nampak tak kat bawah tu? Figure 1, this speak dimension of joint work relation, dimension of knowledge sharing, dimension of trust, the collaborative identity continuum and formality interaction continuum. Uh, okay, itu merujuk kepada table 1 dekat bawah lah. So, dia ada identity, dia ada trust, dia ada joint venture, dia ada knowledge sharing. Okay, dekat sini kita nampak lah bahawa uh, untuk trust, dia ada competence, competent, kalau joint work adalah collaboration, kalau knowledge sharing, dia lebih pada translation dan juga transformation. Okay, paradox in supply chain, a conceptual framework for pack, pack product. Okay, dia kata by applying theory to pack product in supply chain, uh, paradoxical, uh, paradoxical uh, tensions is two system level. Okay, can be understood the greater framework dengan refer figure ones lah. So, ini integration paradox. So, kita ada company A, company 2, company X. So, kita akan buat packaging system, packaging system dan packaging system lah. So, untuk supply chain paradox. Okay. Okay, frameworks uh, for quality assurance to achieve a record management. Okay, yang ni uh, dia, dia tulis a proposed framework for quality assurance for ARM education in open distance learning environment. Okay, so ini dah proposed framework lah. So kat bawah tu, okay, the study design quality assurance framework. Sorry, uh, uh, the design quality assurance framework for the implementation ARM education and ODL platform to reflect in Figure One. So figure one macam mana? Figure one macam ni. Uh, quality assurance, IRM education, start with institutional policy, program design, development, learning infrastructure, resources, student assess and evaluation, examination of or assessment security, student support and progression. Uh, so ini proses-proses adalah quality assurance. Seperti mana yang ditulis dalam paragraf ni, di bahagian uh, the proposed framework quality assurance of IRM education in open the distant learning environment. So saya dapat juga info ni lah kan macam mana nak bangunkan dia punya framework. Ha, so boleh buat framework macam ni. Okay uh, next a certification framework for the managing the risk of the non uh, compliance and non conformance building product. So kita ada Western Australia perspective. So kat sini nak tengok figure 18 dan 18 lah. Ha, contoh ayat dia. Uh, the findings have then be used to develop an interpretation of the current WA product certain framework for which ada building product certificate. So iaitu uh, kita dengar merujuk kepada 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 figure 18 dengan figure 19. Okey figure jadi macam nilah kan eh? daripada product concept development building permit obtains the con common cons command construction dengan equation permit. So ada kategori lah uh, installation uh, simply and delivery design and specification dan juga manufacture and and certifications. Okay, PRIM, P-R-I-S-M, a strategic decision framework for cyber security risk assessment. Okay, tajuk menarik eh, daripada, daripada US. Okay, as I like in the bottom row of figure 3, multiple factors can be associated with the same underlying team. For instance, beside photo A, photo D, highlight a different angle that's so related. Okay. Okay, ni contoh design framework, cyber security risk assessment, freeze workflow. So, dia pecah dah beberapa angle dekat situ kan. Kalau dekat bawah tu cerita tentang risk management implementation. So, kita ada buat preparedness level juga. Eh? Okay, untuk bahagian uh, risk uh, area, so identify major risk area. Victor based on the historical. Risk factor, identify the major component. Priorities, ada highlight the rank, the security risk. Okay, resource allocation, resource allocation, resource necessary to monitor, evaluate the stage and agency need to... Uh, implement, detect uh, and 
and prevents uh, risk kalau standardize okay create standards knowledge and solution monitor identify monitoring procedure ring ratings calculate the risk rating level for the risk areas and factors Okay, uh, imitation and immigrant entrepreneurship. Okay, sambil-sambil saya tunjuk tu lah. Kalau ada soalan nak tanya boleh. Kan? Ataupun saya pergi agak laju sikit. So jam dah almost 3.20 lebih dah ni. Saya nak masuk nanti dekat uh, bahagian metodologi. Uh, tak masuk lagi kan. Okay, okay in section 3, we also use this uh, study for immigrant entrepreneurship indirectly to indirectly to refer to phenomenon of imitation. So letak gambar rajam macam ni kan. Ada entrepreneurship characteristic. Okay, kemudian ada generation, culture, past experience, similar business. Uh, so, ini cost, uh, okay, target dan juga content. Okay, uh, ini gambar raja ada host country, ethnic identity, size dan resources. Uh, ini contoh uh, bagaimana kita nak nampakkan bahawa ada tiga lah based pada courses, target dan juga content. Okay, maaf. Okay. Halal Six Sigma Framework for the de uh, Defect Reduction. Okay, daripada Indonesia dan juga UK. Okay, ada cerita lah. Halal Six Sigma Framework was developed and modified for IDFO. Meta model reduce halal uh, defects. Okay, itu uh, sangat penting lah kan. Eh? Uh, kemudian, um, bagian yang penting kat sini nak highlight dekat, uh, sekejap eh, dia ada gambar raja tak lepas ni. Uh, so, ada gambar raja dekat figure one lah kan. Eh? So dekat sini nak cerita lah, the halal defect will be reduced with HS program, increase the food, the halal system of policy are equality control as framework, the halal policy consists HAS as a guideline, procedure and halal standards. Okay. Okay, ni gambar raja adalah quality and halal policy, halal defect reduction, raw material, halal system of program. So ada resources kat sini, brainstorming, support, root cause and separato, uh, people quality halal uh, assurance team and six sigma team. Okay, ini complement antara dua lah. Antara tools dengan juga people. Compliant and medi mediating rules within road construction uh, constructions, regulatory and framework. So, this one from Newcastle, Sweden. Okay, the second step involves analyzing the interpretation that enable merging and eliminate uh, same uh, same factors. Okay, uh, kemudian accordingly, the six compliance, uh, six compliance factor and seven uh and seven project must have factor we establish in figure 2 uh, notes that the six compliant factor double as a project success factor however the scope of this study is limited to compliance mediated relation between compliance focus and project success okey so adalah gambar gambar raja ni okey cerita compliant factors compliant with regulatory framework dengan project success Okay, development and framework for lean enterprise. Okay, so cerita lah, silent features proposed list framework. Figure one present the conceptual principle framework. In this section, we try to list the silent features and proposed uh, LE framework. LE is something like for LE lah, lean enterprise framework. The proposed uh, lean uh, uh, list uh, uh, framework consists of 100 lean element and 13 pillar of the broad area. The framework has been developed after the consultation with academician, practitioner and consultant. The framework has more number pillar and corresponding element compared to existing framework which is made and comprehensive. However, there are may be possible missing sub element in the framework. According to WIC, a framework generally consists adequacy because they are, they are possible to generate the characteristic being general, simple, calculate at the same time. And this contoh gambar lah, comprehensive lean enterprise framework. So, ada Supply chain management, information, uh, concurrent engineering, just in time, atau uh, just in time production, elimination waste, continuous improvement, total quality management, total product maintenance, uh, standardized, standard, 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 apa? Uh, standardization and customer relationship management. Okay, sekarang ni kita nak bincang tentang penulisan literature review. Okay, kalau saya nak highlight sekejap. Tadi kita baru selesai tentang bagaimana kita nak nak kaitkan dengan gambar rajah framework eh. So ada beberapa di sini kan dalam penulisan literature review kita akan kaitkan dengan dengan framework lah macam ni lah. So framework yang ni kan antara major ledger, standard maintenance and checklist. So yang ni yang berdasarkan literature review can identify trust to adventure knowledge sharing. Okay ni paradox supply chains 
So kita ada gambar kat sini lah Pecah pada tiga company A, company 2, company C Okay framework for equality assurance uh, Tak ada Okay certificate framework managing the risk pun tak ada Okay current uh, idealism framework uh, Ni gambar-gambar rajah dia lah eh. Lebih kompleks Prim study uh, Ni gambar rajah dia P prioritize advantage R resource allocation Implement I standardize S monitor R Okay Imitation emigran tadi, ah, ni gambar raja tadi eh. ah, Ni gambar halal tadi yang Sik Sigma So ni compliant factors okay. Development of framework of lean Sekarang ada gambar house, ah, ni lean house nama dia ah, Nampaknya ada lean enterprise framework okay, Kita dah masuk penulisan dalam literature review Nak membincangkan dari segi aspek, however okay. Dah panjang dah saya pergi, jauh dah ni slide dia bergerak Ada soalan nak tanya? Okay, kita baru sampai 240 kita ada lagi uh, separuh lagi slide kita eh? Saya teruskan je lah eh, dengan, dengan, uh, dengan literature review Saya nak habiskan literature review lepas tu nak masuk buat method So ni kalau siapa-siapa nak belajar tentang bagaimana nak tulis dengan baik perkataan however uh, Saya cepat sikit lah eh. uh, Contoh ni however Kampung Gumum was selected for this study at the most orang asli People live in the village. Sebelum tu adalah cerita dia. Eh? So ni paper case study macro business. Uh, so today, a concept of social capital however is a result of mixture of functionalist, critical and rational theoretical tradition. Uh, jadi kalau nak buat however tengah-tengah pun boleh. Okay, kemudian kita ambil ha yang statement kat sini. However, little research has been conducted into the role of the local government promoting sustainable city in developing countries such as Malaysia. Okay, yang ni juga CEO at Age and risk taking family business So they work however beyond the certain age threshold The tendency if taking risk is likely to influence more significant and carry out reason effects Okay ha, Ini maksudnya letak macam biasa lah however Okay kemudian awareness knowledge attitude aka lah Awareness knowledge attitude ha, Biasa gunakan SCAR uh, skill knowledge attitude dan ni awareness Government secondary uh, school students on the antibiotic insya Allah So kat sini dia tulis Uh, kita ambil kat sini daripada uh, however tu lah kan However, this issue can also be trigger in antibiotic uh, abuse and overuse Okay, yang ni adalah understanding opinion and sustainable development So kita tengok ayat however dia ada dua kat sini Several study concerns about sustainable development specific among youth have been published However, the result of this study were found to be very uh, Maksud pelbagai lah kan Okay, however, it was clear that there is wide understanding accessibility among the respondents. Okay, mock uh, instructor design and challenge. So, they kata, however, the existing literature in this area offers suggestions to instructor for solving their design challenge, such as turning stakeholders address available published journal and report and utilize application that give the guidance and the course design. Okay, why girl and get married early in Sarawak? Okay, dia cerita eh, blah blah blah. However, the factor contribute the child marriage may different as they are shaped with the social culture context of each country uh, and region. Okay. The relationship between workplace spirituality in work to family arrangement. So, ayat dia kat atas tu according to uh, Krishna Kumar, workplace spirituality, a variety definition that have been suggested. However, is commonly defined a reconnection or employee have the inner life that nourish has as the nourish by meaningful work to take place in the context of community. Okay, a confirmatory factor analysis uh, of the behavior intentions. Uh, however, recent, recent research study on user accepted or variable have estimated a limited number of critical factors from the technology perspective. Okay, diversity of traditional Malay in Malaysia. However, as reached that there are prevalent challenge to sustain traditional liquid in the in youth uh, and uh, preliminary insight into the environmental awareness in community in the vicin abatic manufacturing units okay uh, however more than, more than half of them were observed to be aware of the wastewater disposal method and the associated environment and had impact of the wastewater discharge Okay, ini amanah and Muslim identity relationship with religious and psychology adjustment in Malaysia. 
Okay, interestingly, however, a possible cause also appear in a commercial aesthetic culture commitment. Okay, banyak kan? Uh, ni however, SWM may remain one of the main environmental challenge is develop a country which include Malaysia. Okay, innovations, management, practice, review and guidance for future research SME. So, dah tambah, ni kita boleh ambil ayat ni. Review, guidance and uh, guidance for future research in SME. Okay, kat sini lain, uh, SME versus company, many study analyze the issue, large company, however, there is less, however, Sontoro focus SME, they also participate in open innovation. Okay, next paper, immediating impact on enterprise risk management implementation. Okay, as a result of the above challenge, some of the major uh, IOC adopted, which has significantly improved efficiency in their operation, however, even the most successful OE program need to improve because there are regulation and enacted new risk emerge employer we are demanding for the help here in safe working environment okay end of life vehicle management comprehensive review so i had however the vast majority of review study are will illustrate in the small or medium size case okay next sustainability marine park knowledge attitude behavior so however ada mulakan First ayat dia, however. However, Africa support for KAB theory is still lacking and linear relationship is considered too simplistic. Ha, sikit tak detail, tak jelas, tak tak komprehensif lah maksudnya. Lawan kepada simplistic. Effect a low carbon waste practice on job satisfaction inside manager through job stress. Okay, ada ayat. However, the high potential of construction material be reused on site and recycled. Okay. The the other words is R is extremely reused. Recycling has also become interest. Efficiency, productivity and competitiveness of the Malaysia insurance sector and analysis a risk-based capital regulations. So kat sini dia kata input, input for labor business service can either to present by average wage. However, data on average wage and number of employee in Malaysia insurance industry are not available. Okay, ini environmental based virtual interaction and enhanced innovation stem. Okay, uh, however, previous simulation are used in visualize certain query acquiring uh, activity eh? ini a uh, qualitative study on the implementation of family health teams ha uh, ni samalah however in hong kong heart seeking behavior is not full a family doctor except this people probably understood the concept okey ni yang ketiga challenge and opportunity to global health crisis ada uh, cerita menurut cerita pasal monetary uh, IMF the world bank be revised every week to reflect time information however Previous experience suggests that heterogeneity, uh, national economic structure and trade network may result in each country facing different consequences. Okay, masih ada lagi address global sustainability challenge, a qualitative study, uh, COP IELT come under criticism over the years. Among this experience, reflect learn pattern to experience learning, consider of more ideology than philosophy theory uh, experiential learning. Okay, however, COP still is most well-known attempt to elaborate experiential learning and useful to starting point understanding the phenomena. Okay, knowledge perceived barrier pressure mediation area and reporting. So, however, in many countries, they are most under underreported. However, fail to report SME limits the development of prevention strategy. Okay, sekarang ni cerita tentang penulisan dalam literature review. Kita masuk research gap pula. Macam-macam kita masuk. Kita masuk however. Kita masuk lukiskan gambar framework. Okay. Ha, jadi macam-macam kita akan gunakan uh, slide ni untuk menjadi panduan kita dalam menulisan bagian literature review. Macam mana menulis literature review nak nampakkan research gap. Okay. Yang pertama, well-being mother children with autism in Malaysia. Okay. Furthermore, uh, grief at all 2012 remarks about the sustainability to family research about the development disability with the population which is the title known view study specifically examine the phenomenology understanding of the well-being in a mother children with ASD in developing country. Okay, uh, ni cerita paper padi, rice and food security. Okay, kat sini uh, such unfavorable condition we create fragile structure just speak encourage social economic progress uh, Uh, achieved over 10 years. Yes. It's a no more a problem in Malaysia. Okay, lack of policy coherence. The MIC-based approach to sustainability value stream mapping towards sustainability management system. 
So kat sini kita nak nampak analysis gap dia Analyze pay demisi involving analysis of decision In order to identify was to reduce the gap Between the current performance and current desired goal Enhance customer retention using customer relationship management approach in carbons business They are very important to conduct This is the loan industry experience Okay, lepas tu lain another benefit expected from the research is literature and reach for further research related on the customer retention. So untuk proper statement kena baca detail lah, saya skip yang tu eh. Structure question model for constructive project perform. So uh, the summary for the study have to manage provide the enhanced understanding uh, coordination factor that are important to construct project. Nevertheless, most of the factor are related industry that's creating gap for Cause relationship between condition focus and construction project performance. Okay, the zero reject policies. Uh, okay, ada yang hard waiver tu. Point out that the final version of education for all free adopted by World Education from Indaka. Okay, in school, this suggests that the lack of prescription measure. Any ayat yang kita boleh ambil. Investigating student engagement in Malaysia and in higher education. Article uh, softly explore an important gap in Malaysia Higher education engagement literature can identify the extreme factor uh, They engage student in Malaysia higher education The result of our article support brief finding that Students have unique mission resources Competence, economy, belong, belonging, goal okay. The finding also reveal that certain classroom condition uh, some, Sometime interface with the student engagement Okay, untuk nak nampakkan uh, Kenapa lah kan, eh, hujah Kenapa kita kata kita nak explore important gap in Malaysia in higher education literature. A knowledge, attitude and practice gap and study and prevention through the design. Uh, through the design, let me inside the into civil. Okay, so uh, blah, 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 blah. However, one of the respondent have mentioned about, yeah. even though has also been introduced in my average among respondent in this guideline, significant reflect lack. Okay. Managerial perspective on institution administration readiness diffuse blend learning in higher education. Okay, uh, faced with the governance issue, argue that institution are faced with government issues. Okay, hence administrators must specify precise role of BL should be played in institutional development, offering proper direction for planning and operation of BL approach. I need knowledge, attitude, perception of Muslim parents. Uh, similar man, minor case should be considered important aspect few notable reasons such as poor uh, ini alasan ataupun hujah yang nak beritahu bahawa wujudnya gap dalam kajian eh? still minor uh, should be considered important uh, few notable not, uh, notes reasons such as poor okay meaningless has no significant effects uh, nampak kali sense gap dia kan uh, untuk continuous use extended use e-government portal Uh, okay, need to identify area for improvement to narrow the gap with the countries. Okay, operational excellence through lean manufacturing. Uh, uh, ada cute keyword untuk uh, research gap. Uh, indesirable effects did not involve in his opinion underlying in, in, in ability revised by putting and Operation culture Malaysia international construction. So, they are not fully explore. Is deficient uh, still considered and the em uh, embryonic stage knowledge gap. So banyak sekali keyword-keyword yang boleh represent untuk perkataan untuk mewakili untuk problem statement. Okay, the impact of COVID-19 tourism industry in Malaysia. Uh, further information on how claim this incentive has not been released yet. Okay, risk management and corporate social responsibility. Uh, okay, uh, we know far less how. No paper present clear evidence. Our new approach fill a gap in the literature. Uh, when supply shift my boundaries, so uncertainty is further compound by the lack of the relationship specific asset to relation uh, interface. And a review of philosophy for national strategic management, uh, bridge the theory, practice gap. Okay. A strategic leadership and technology innovation and comprehensive review and research agenda. All in all, we strive to provide cohesive overview of the extent knowledge and the highest gap in the knowledge. So, dia tutup ni lah. On it all, we strive to provide concise, concise overview of the extent knowledge and the highlight the gap in the knowledge. Okay, world of male and female entrepreneur finding from the global study. Interestingly, a gap between gender is the, their access to the source of private finding. Okay, a topic of relevant and further investigation will be a topic investigation in addition to following micro-level human capital factor. Okay, role of the strategic management for employee engagements. Okay, 
the above literature review show that strategic management direction, however, there is need to have the holistic amalgamations. Okay, uh, kemudian paper yang ni, Entrepreneurship Ecosystem for Startup Business uh, Lab is an Indian context. This one of by mid a gap of the analysis. Secure a new business model framework. Okay, the study feel the need to improve the business model evolution by design performance driving element that suit the context. Okay, next paper, become entrepreneurs. Uh, moreover, the existing history lack enough focus on the very early stage of the company. Uh, institution, environment and entrepreneurship startup, international study. So, ni ada keyword-keyword untuk research gap lah. Uh, and uh, country specific environment and quality aspect of limited. Less attention has been paid to country level institution. This neglect may have to lead to the inconsistent finding. Sebab tu kita kena buat uh, satu uh, penulisan yang baik lah eh, untuk semua bagian. Not just only uh, chapter ada dapatan je. Tapi chapter satu, chapter dua ni sangat penting. Okay. Alright semua, so kita dah masuk yang bab seterusnya, bab tiga. Ha, saya cuba nak usahakan kita boleh uh, sebelum tiga setengah tadi. Ha, tapi sekarang dah tiga, empat puluh lima untuk cover meteorologi. Meteorologi banyak perkara yang kita kena lihat sebenarnya dalam penulisan kita punya artikel. Okay, ada soalan semua? Yang petang-petang ni mengantuk pun ada kan? Kalau ada soalan lagi baik. Supaya kita boleh, boleh saya boleh tahulah kan? Eh? Uh, kalau tidak saya bercakap je seorang-seorang. Okay. Alright. So kita dah habis uh, bahagian literature review. And kita sambung sesi petang tadi untuk melihat dan juga meneroka dan bedah bagaimana perkara-perkara penting yang ada dalam literature review. And kita dah go through one by one tadi. And yang dah pergi uh, apakah perenggan awal yang kita nak tulis. Okay. Kemudian kita dah belajar tentang perkara yang kita nak highlight. And kita nak come up dengan Uh, perkataan dari segi however Kemudian kita dah tambah macam mana nak nampakkan gambar rajah Perkataan macam mana kita nak buat arahan sebelum kita masukkan rajah dan figure okay. Kemudian kita come out sebagai uh, however Kemudian beberapa uh, literature review yang merujuk kepada persembahan uh, Ada framework, ada ada apa, ada apa, figure dan sebagainya Okay, uh, kemudian kita menulis juga in term of research gap. Macam mana nak nampakkan dalam penulisan literature review tu ada research gap, ada theoretical framework, ada conceptual framework. Uh, ada semualah. Eh? Ada semua. Itu perkara yang kita bincang tadi untuk bagi literature review. Begitu juga dengan design dia. Apa macam mana nak tulis. Nak terus nak tetap literature review ke? Boleh tetap terus topik ataupun pergi sub-sub topik. Okay eh. Kita bagi dekat uh, metodologi. So kita akan bedah bincang untuk menulis metodologi penyelidikan dalam artikel jurnal. So kita pergi yang simple dulu. Uh, eh, kita pergi simple dulu. Untuk metodologi dalam kualitatif. Uh, kualitatif. So siapa yang nak menulis tesis dalam dalam kualitatif boleh tengok yang ni lah. Contoh-contoh uh, ayat-ayat uh, yang yang kita boleh ambil. Yang ni tak cukup sebenarnya. Boy, macam beberapa. So, yo lepas ni boleh top up lagi. Dah tahu teknik kan? So, boleh top up lagi. Ikut bidang lah dalam pengajian. Okay, yang pertama ni paper daripada uh, Sekolah Malaysia. A framework for Financial Hardship in Depth in Depthness Management in the Abdotnance Housing Project in in Malaysia. So, kat sini kita nampak tu dia research methodology dia. Ada berapa bahagian tu lah. Perenggan pertama ataupun yang awal-awal dia cerita tentang research, employ the qualitative research method using inductive analysis approach. Uh, and employ qualitative research method using inductive analysis approach. So, di cerita lah data collection involve both primary and secondary data. The primary data include semi-structured interview as well as statutory, law, legatory, guideline and policy documents. So, refer documents. Through a series, semi-structure interview conduct from, so dia beritahulah tarikh dia collect data daripada Januari sampai Mac 2017. With the five Islamic Bank in Malaysia, pertinent syariah issue have been identified. The represent in the five Islamic Bank include office from syariah, legal recovery product and financial department. In addition, this president to adopt the property owner association Malaysia with team has been interviewed. The issue identified through this interview are analyzed by examining the refer the relevant existing law. So they refer lah beberapa dokumen law kan. Macam-macam tu dokumen law they refer. Okay and other reference include the resolution of International Islamic Fiqh Academy and Regulation Islamic. 
Okay. Alright. Ini paper yang kedua. Towards establish Islamic retail bank in a Muslim minority country. Uh, prospect and challenge in Mauritius. Okay. Kat sini methodology to achieve research objective. Uh, dia tu cerita lah eh. To achieve research objective outline above, this paper undertake combination of two research methods. First, carry out the comprehensive review in existing literature review and theory. Okay, a theoretical framework of this study is construct through the literature review. The main literature source are journal, book report, thesis and bank regulator. It's must recognize up front that they are those of published literature on Islamic banking in finance Mauritius. Second, conduct empirical study, extract the opinion, perception from respondent, both Muslim and non-Muslim. Okay, uh, kemudian in addition, semi-structure interview from the target sample of banker, finance, professional, academic, syariah, scholar are used to substantive of compare of the survey finding. Okay, kemudian kita boleh ceritalah under, understandings, the musyarakah, mutanah kisah or kooperasi pembiayaan syariah angkasa uh, Kopsha. Uh, ini daripada KL dan juga KL Malaysia dan juga Sazali ini daripada uh, New Zealand. Okay, to achieve the objective of the research, ah, sama lebih kurang macam ayat tadi kan. The qualitative approach was undertaken. One of the method adopted was review to available in literature, relation or Islamic home finance. Ah, so next, the second method adopted was interview of the person authority Islamic finance lah. Discuss application of MM by IC Malaysia. The particular authors has the opportunity to interview CEO dan sebagainya. Eh? Okay, Sharia Compliance uh, Centered Making Practice Lesson from the Muslim Country Experience. So, dia cakap lah kat sini, uh, our motivation is selected Iran, Sudan and Pakistan stem from the fact that this country aim to making their banking system fully compliant to Sharia guideline. So, dia ada reason lah. And uh, so, ni motivation dia untuk melaksanakan fully compliant of Sharia guideline. Okay, objektif dalam dalam research methodology yang first center tu beritahu Objective of research to document of the central bank to perform its primary and secondary function in Sharia compliance manners. Okay, the parts of sustainability, understanding organization, environment, initiative, and climate change in the emerging economy. Okay, ini pada sekolah Malaysia semuanya. Okay, dia buat content analysis. Okay, the sample, the content analysis of the annual and sustainability report of the 100 public district company in Malaysia for year 2017 was performed. Table 1 present the distribution of the sample size of companies selected according industry. This industry were considered as environmentally sensitive by previous literature. Okay, due to nature of the operation, specifically this industry represent the environmental sensitive industry listed on the Malaysia stock exchange. Uh, so, dia cerita dulu uh, bagaimana content analysis diguna, apa dokumen yang digunakan. Okay, kita tengok metodologi kualitatif seterusnya lah. Eh, detail lah ni. Okay. So, kualitatif inquiry into the cash wakaf model as a source finance micro enterprise. So, yang ni cerita. Okay, kita ambil beberapa bahagian lah kan. Eh. Kita boleh refer semua tapi ambil beberapa bahagian. The step in kualitatif analysis. Ha, siapa nak buat kualitatif analysis boleh nyatakan lah step kualitatif analysis. Mula-mula buat preliminary exploration. Ha, berdata through all the transcript and writing memos. Coding of the data segmentation label of text. Using codes, the developed team by a great similar code together. Connecting and interrelating teams and constructive narrative. Ha, ini contoh. So, kita bila dalam penulisan metodologi, kita boleh ambil idea ni lah kan. So, nak cerita step kualitatif analisis, apa yang kita buat. Okay. Okay, kemudian ada cerita di bawah tu, the selection of expert were based on the purposive sampling. So, kita beritahu lah kita punya teknik persampling. Purposive sampling is one of the most common sampling strategy whereby to group participant pre-selected based on the particular research question. Purposes sampling size are often determined on the basis of the theoretical saturations, uh, collection where the new data longer bring to additional inside the true research question. Senangnya, dalam penyelidikan dalam kualitatif, memang kita boleh gunakan purposes sampling lah. So, biasanya kita kena dengar kan, sampai bila nak interview ni sampai saturated. Okay, ini contoh ayat lah. Kat sini kita nak identify kan kita punya, uh, kalau kat, tengok kat situ, uh, ayat dia, Data collecting during the interview were transcribed into the field notes that analyzed by using team analysis. Okay, jadi kat bawah tu nampak kan, uh, melibatkan tempat uh, uh, kat sini lah kan, antara wakaf under corporation, uh, perbadanan wakaf Selangor, Jabatan Wakaf Zakat, Koperasi Syarikat Angkasa, Center of Islamic Development, uh, ISDEF, Small Medium Enterprise Development, Bank Malaysia Berhad, uh, Manager. Okay, so yang kat sini nak, nak, nak beritahu lah siapa yang terlibat kan. Then the number of respondents seek has also be used by other research. Okay, ni beritahu lah. 
kenapa dia pilih dia da- dapat pilih 6 ni lah kan okey kalau tengok ayat ni lah ni menarik juga kalau kita nak belajar lah kan in term of in term of numbers and participant chosen for the study follow the suggestion provide i most who recommend seek participant for qualitative study so 6 dah cukup dah untuk jadi participant dalam uh, dalam qualitative study rujuk pada most 1994 for the most selection number of respondent typically relate concept of saturation the point uh, which no new information observed in the data from the respondent so the number of respondents it has also be used to other researchers such as Muhammad Ahmad according their view researcher work with the small sample size they study their subject matter in deep and is sufficient achieve the objective so, kita boleh guna sampel yang kecil tapi kena mendalam uh, dia sebenarnya sufficient juga untuk untuk menjawab kita punya objektif kajian so dia inilah ni yang kita melibat melibatkan semua bahagian ni lah kan eh? Uh, for identify and analyze reporting pattern, team in data, thematic analysis was used to study because the following advantage. Kenapa kita buat thematic analysis? Ability to summarize key features slash data, highlight the similarity different of the data, useful to make analysis suit to policy development. Ini kita ambil dari Browns and Clark. The process thematic analysis involves selecting, simplify and coding the data based on the mice and arguments. Okay, can change leadership impact on the staff organizational citizen behavior? A scenario from the Malaysia. Uh, so dia buat macam ni chapter 4 dia. Eh, dia cerita 4.1 research design. Kemudian dia cerita tentang 4.2 adalah population and, and sample. Uh, dia cerita dulu research design dia. This study adopt a qualitative research design. In the qualitative research design, the research is interest to understanding event and situation from the respondent perspective using flexible technique is obtain information. Ni ikut Frankel dengan Creswell dengan Maxwell and the side. Untuk bahagian populasi yang sampling pula, dia beritahu kajian ini melibatkan uh, consist academic staff in the 10 faculties from the research university in Kuala Lumpur. Okay. Uh, Malaysia as the case study. Therefore, purposive sampling teknik dipilih untuk 10 pesarah tadi, uh, the participate in the study. The sampling teknik enable to research to deliberate uh, sample appropriate person in particular setting in the right study. Okay, it's mostly to note that the this lecturer were different faculty and institution in the case university. Okay, they go to approach pula. Uh, the semi-structured interview protocol along, along with the field notes document were used to the main approach to collect the data for the study. The interview protocol consists of the uh, 10 different questions we regard the study objective to change the shape of staff behavior. The interview protocol was subject to expert validate. It was to assess by five different experts, include two professor and higher education leadership management and one associate professor, one senior lecturer and one expert in qualitative research. As a result, the interview question was ruled out with a uh, vet by this expert. We appropriate validation research can ensure that information obtained serve that purpose of their study. Okay. Oh tu kata Crash 2012 note that significant on observation field note that computer analysis providing resource of data give the first hand the multi model description in research setting in addition to respond collect from the interview the triangulation the finding from the interview were observers observation field not the focus on the interaction between behavior of the staff the action of the leader and the university environment ha, ni panjang ni statement daripada Creswell lah dimulakan dengan Creswell lah. Okay, method of data, continuous reflection, process from the thematic data analysis followed by research interview were conclude. Okay, uh, last and in addition, procedure for coding and intercategorize, inter inter uh, categorizing the main theme of this study were guided by ladder analytical abstraction and as a framework for data analysis. Okay, ini conceptual framework and linkage between social capital. Kita nak tengok tentang penulisan bagian method. A qualitative research design will employ assuming social capital disaster preparedness orang asli people tasik chini Malaysia according to Creswell 2009 qualitative research focus on different philosophical assumptions strategy inquiry method and data analysis and interpretation he explain the meaning concept definition character description of the things uh, tasik chini is a lake near the Pang River center of Malaysia is is the second largest uh, freshwater lake in Malaysia where the orang asli tribe also na orang jakun live and Okay, kemudian kita masih lagi dalam method divide and uh, apa divide major component of social capital itu the social participation, okay, cooperation norm and okay, presented dalam figure two. 
Okay ni social capital orang asli families lah uh, Kita dapat tunjuk kat sini uh, Social capital ada step relationship, be neighbor, relationship membership Social mobility, participation in public organization Participation in social religious program, participation in awareness program Mutual help dia, mutual trust uh, So ini adalah kita punya uh, families on the social capital dan orang asli families Okay uh, jadi kat sini nak tunjukkan juga uh, dari segi study disaster preparedness which is very categorized into five key teams as safety, protection, knowledge and part apa participation, peak response, recovery and community ability. So kita akan buat gambar satu gambar rajahlah. Kita visualizekan disaster preparedness tu ada ada enam. Okay ini pun samalah kan kat sini dia kata kat sini kita boleh tunjuk kat sini lah kan descriptive analysis was used to examine collected data represent racial respond to specific question. This analysis was this uh, and this uh, administrators administrate under some major team related on social capital. The method of the study are summarized in figure two. Eh, sorry, figure four. Kita start dengan quality research design, betul kita buat data collection, betul data analysis, descriptive analysis, dan buat interpretation result. Quality data data, key buat key team, bonding, relationship, mutual trust and help, network connected uh, connectedness, knowledge participation, early preparedness and respond and recovery. So ni part of the quality research design dengan qualitative data. Okay, planner perspective yang uh, governing and producing sustainable city in Malaysia. Okay, so kajian ni dekat Lisa Metro menunjukkan bahawa uh, Kuala Lumpur record the highest mean monthly household in the uh, apa 11,692 USD. Kuala Selangor paling tinggi iaitu 9,463. Median monthly household income. In terms of size, Selangor highly largest number of household with 1.6 million household. Well, Malaysia had 461 only. Okay. Therefore, we focus our research in five most development local authority in the state of the Selangor Kuala Lumpur. So, kita ada Putaran Jaya, uh, MPJJ, kita ada MBSA, Tok Syah Alam, Subang Jaya, Municipal Council, MPSK, Kajang Municipal Council, MPKJ dan Kuala Lumpur City Hall di BKL. Okay, using purposive, uh, sorry, using purposive sampling, we interview 125 respondent. Okay, uh, 100 urban residents, 10 member resident association, so detail lah kan. During the in-deep interview with the local partner planner, we encourage respondent to talk freely and avoid leading questions. The interview took between 30 and 90 minutes. And okay, kemudian. Okay, ini paper lain, environmental based virtual interaction and to enhance motivation of STEM education. So kita ada method, the interview aim the in-deep information from expert about the reliability and sensibility identified components. So ada participation. So in developing simulation and visualization of the education model, close collaboration, the proposed model involve the, the cross-discipline as suggested by ultimately different challenge to pihak participant lah. Kan? Siapa expert, kita boleh kategori macam ni lah. Expert A, expert B, expert C. So kita boleh kategoriskan by expert tu by bidang apa? Expert A dalam bidang expertise, simulation and visualization. Expert P adalah education, expert C dalam environment. So position kita tak boleh sebut nama universiti dan nama penuh dia kan. Kita letaklah professor, deputy director, professor, ex dean ataupun research officer dan kat sini ketiga-tiga expert pengalaman dia lebih daripada 20 tahun. Okay. Design and development of interview protocol. Okay. Menarik yang saya sendiri pun masa saya bedah bagian kualitatif ni banyak ilmu saya dapat lah. Ilmu kualitatif, ilmu kuantitatif. Eh, sebab dalam penulisan artikel jurnal, biasanya dia short, very simplify. So kita straightforward boleh faham apa method yang diguna. Eh. Kualitatif research can increase a quality of research interview data by enhancing the reliability interview protocol. Interview protocol of this study is designed by adapting process from interview protocol refinement IPR which proposed by Gary. Uh, the IPR comprise the four phase which is include ensuring interview question aligned with the research question, inquiry based conservation, interview protocol by feedback, interview protocol pilot. Okay, full list of the question and transcript are available kat sini. Okay, as suggested by Rowley, pilot interview can be conducted to check that the questions are reasonable. Okay, dari segi aspek seterusnya, uh, interview was record using the audio recorder. The interview script was transcribed and refined using uh, inscribed software before they can use the primary source or data analysis. Later, transcript were code into the term pattern and code using the atlas software continuously until the further information obtained. 
Coding was done by classify and naming element based on accessibility having the same team group features. Finally, the analysis was performed after combination this elimination of the codes. Okay, item the interview protocol. Okay, untuk bagi demografi, kita nyatakanlah ni template dia lebih kurang lah. Kita ada name, the organization, nature, okay, background, patient, current working, environment, and risk related activity, question and challenge, and taking knowledge, explore the relevant source. Okay, question on the current usage of features. Question the data required characteristic potential effort to based on the environmental aspect. Question on the current usage of features as SMB enhanced motivation. Okay, question and characteristic potential impact on the support learning outcome. Okay, question on the current usage of feature SMB understanding environmental data. Question require characteristic potential effects uh, to understand the soft environmental issue. Okay, question on the adaption current scenario using SP technique. Question that require characteristic potential effect and interest motivation learning through the usage as NV techniques. Okay. So, uh, kat sini memang detail lah. Eh. Jadi kita tahulah kalau nak buat interview protocol memang ada detail ini berujuk kepada team. Okay. A qualitative study on the implementation of family helps teams a perspective of provider and patients. Okay. There was a qualitative study which explored the experience member during the implementation of the ANPHC contribution as well as the experience of patient 10 months into the intervention at the 20 clinic. This is, a, this is to ensure that any issue during the intervention period could be explored, understood and resolved before the scale up the intervention in the future. Okay, participation untuk purposes sampling was used to this study. The unit of analysis were to help care provider and patient who have to clinic uh, for service. Uh, the FHT sample population were HSB will be involved in the HPT service while the patient will make sure who are registered and attend regular follow-up appointment for the last two years at the same clinic and they attend at least three clinics. Okay. All right. Data collection. Data was the paper was derived from the in-deep interview. Okay. In-deep IDI with the clinic pattern and focus group discussion FGD with the FHT and intervention design team member who are meet Level manager with the Ministry of Health, MOH. Data collection was conducted in the two round inter interview. Figure one, all 20 clinics were involved in the first round interview about two months into the ENPHC implementation. Okay, were selected for the second round of interview appropriately 10 months into the intervention implementation April. Okay, then FGD. Okay, session with the interview design uh, team was uh, conducted the first round interview. And Okay, apa lagi yang penting kat sini adalah for the patient in deep interview, the interview guide was developed based on the several psychological and behavioral theory. Okay, kita boleh buat juga ni kan. Eh? Ha, ni cerita tentang mula-mula uh, kita bulan Julai, eh, commencements of the implementation. So, ENPHC implementation. Okay, kemudian kita boleh buat implementation pada bulan April. Okay, participation, FGD, HCP, MOS, MOS, NUS, FGD, participation. IDI with passion, uh, IDI with ASP, KFGD. Okay, uh, ni semua visual kan siapa yang terlibat dalam data collection ni. Address global sensitivity challenge, a qualitative study factors. Uh, this paradigm assume that meaning not discovered through the was inherent in the object and but is construct, constructed by human being. Okay, ni transferability. Uh, ni ramai nak tanya juga transferability kan. Transferability refer to extent to which the result of one study can be transferred to other applied in other context or setting with other respondents. Transferability is assessed through the providing thick description of the participant in context of research process that enable the research access. Join is uh, the onus is the reader to make their own transferability judgment where the researcher responsibility to the provide a detailed description of the study context and and a contact to help the reader in the in this effort. Sampling, macam tadi lah, banyak sebut cerita pasal sampling, saya skip yang ni. Uh, okay, there are type of proposed sampling that's, that's not exactly. Uh, okay, that is when no new information about for coming from the new sample unit, the sampling can be terminated. Okay, next paper, uh, research methodology, we have study to collect extensive data for regard issue with the current AHF. The paper follow recommendation guess that the proposed sample of six ten uh, informant which diverse FA may provide sufficient information to interview based interview sorry interview based study. 
Okay, next. Uh, ni this was a retrospective study conduct the university based primary case in Kuala Lumpur. Uh, okay, were excluded due the absence of asthma register. Patient with the bronchial asthma were identified through the pharmacy data system. Okay, ni contoh flow of the study yang kita boleh masukkan dalam bab methodology, identify target population. So, kita boleh exclude from the study target population, exclude from the study. Study population, the patient with the bronchial asthma who meet the study uh, criteria, data 243, patient will retrieve and analyze. Okay, for the study, the standard target for the indicator process of restriction was 80% and the standard target of the indicator for outcome was 100%. Okay, and the data was entered the SPSS uh, qualitative assessment through the audit patients. The study received uh, ethical approval from research ethic universities, permission to conduct the study in primary care and uh, care clinic, and also obtained from the head of family medicine. Okay, the paper and life vehicle management review methodology. In this study, content analysis CA was inspired to review the literature. CA is research technique based on the interpretation coding text. Okay, all right. Search engine will use the explore SES publication, SSE library, SME digital library, Cambridge. Okay, uh, ini database database yang digunakan lah untuk dalam mendapatkan bahan ni lah kan. So based pada search engine semua ni. Okay, classification for instance, uh, classification and publication related to the ELV recycling into the three major category, vehicle recycling practice worldwide. Legislation oriented research and and remanufacturing and rematerial recycling. Okay, and ini adalah uh, reverse logistic LV. Okay, uh, ini the major classification of the study boleh kita buat sini. The publication were classified into four major category. Okay, uh, literature review LS, uh, recycle production planning RPP uh, and Okay, ini contoh the major classification of the review publication. So ada literature review survey, recycle product planning. Network design and regulation review. Okay, innovation management perspective review and guide guidance for future research SMEs. So methodology, uh, explain the scoping review protocol, apply the study guide by the methodology. So uh, dekat sini, more scientific production, innovation, management are the UK and Spain. Dekat sini lah. Eh. Okay, this study article from 2012-2019. Yang ni sebenarnya tak tak perlu beritahu yang ni lah. Tapi kalau melibatkan literature SLR, kena beritahu lah. So, based pada database scopus, web outside, progress, and co-host. Okay, we use statistical sampling, complement the existing literature. Okay, state that in field the innovation management is particular, the extent qualitative review have to have clear to this research on framework identification. Okay, the underlying rationals, uh, this criteria I expected to collect appropriate data uh, complements. Okay, kita nak pergi kuantitatif. Nah, cukup lah kan, eh? kuantitatif. Kita pergi pula untuk kuantitatif method. Bila dalam tulisan artikel, kita kena tengok macam mana cara nak menulis sebagai metodologi. Sekiranya kita gunakan kuantitatif. Kualitatif dah tadi. Okay, paper daripada analisis of Ahranu in the context informal credit market theory. So ini adalah kuantitatif lah kan. Eh. The primary data collected from the purpose study was to obtain from the method proposal simply by using self-admin questionnaire. Okay, proposal simply is a sampling method that is selected based on the research knowledge of the population what type of sample would best to suit to or her goal. This is useful technique in the population interest is that it can be easily identified but not easily listing. As a focal point, this research can conduct a study on women uh, micro entrepreneur who rely on the Arahnu Pokemeter, the most appropriate sampling were purpose sampling. The researcher obtained information woman micro entrepreneur uh, from their friend uh, in the same market and uh, select this woman. Okay. Alright. Kemudian, ada kat situ kan, uh, the study was conduct three state, Malaysia, Kelantan, Terengganu dan Kedah. And, uh, okay, kat sini lah kan, kat point tu sangat penting. According to Department Statistic Malaysia, These three state have majority women micro entrepreneur. So, kenapa dia bagi sebab? Uh, kenapa dia pilih kat sini kajian ni Kelantan, Terengganu dan Kedah? Sebab dia kata these three state have majority women micro entrepreneur and have higher poverty in this compared to the other state in the Malaysia. The questionnaire will distribute to the total 750 participants for each state. Uh, contribute 250 respondent. Uh, out of 750 questionnaire distribute, 
629 survey was returns. Uh, jadi secara total 29 survey has more than 25% the item answer. Uh, this result effective is an effective sample dan 100 unsable complete the questionnaire for the purpose of data analysis. So bawah tu dia kata dia akan gunakan IBM statistics dan juga SAM analysis. So next paper daripada attitude to a, uh, attitude towards entrepreneurship study among asnaf millennial in Malaysia. Okay. Uh, dia cerita dia gunakan cross-sectional study. So time horizon ni adalah cross-sectional. Kemudian quantitative data. Right? So dia ada buat juga structured interview. Uh, okay, the, this population was select because the poverty rate in Kelantan is highest peninsula Malaysia. Beside that, Kelantan is the vulnerable and exposed the flood. The study select 200 since asnaf respondent were poor eligible monthly zakat of 500 from the Majlis Agama Islam Kelantan. So dia identify asnaf kat sini adalah yang menerima zakat lah and from the Majlis Agama Islam Kelantan. The study apply several stage of cluster. This approach suitable to alter and district. First, researchers select the one to three of the region represent this notons, uh, part of the Kelantan and receive asnaf recipient in rural area. The second research randomly select the asna for each area identify as asna millennial that the represent the population. The study consider the model for people in household with LPPKN and one of the them is the classify millennial between age 17 to 35 daripada lembaga penduduk dan pembangunan warga negara LPPKN. Okay, the examining the factors affect consumer purchase decision in the market retail uh, market. So kita ada kat sini adalah the research aim to examine the predator purchase. So illustrate the quantitative survey enable research to conduct statistical analysis and general result in the given context. Okay, kemudian before starting data collection, the questionnaire was designed based on the several measurement item for the construct. Purchase decision was a measure using the five item scale. Okay. Alright, all the item were measure on the five points skala likat lah. Skala likat lima mata. Okay. Gap between competence, ha, letak tajuk gap, eh, perkataan gap dalam title Between competence and importance uh, of employability skill evident from Malaysia Methodology in this study, employability skill are category under 15 major components Okay, alright, uh, kemudian this framework is also linked to framework developed by Jelas and Azman In this study, generate skill consists of 10 skill, okay uh, So the major 15 employability, uh, tu, alasan dia, justify dia bagi So participants, participant consists of final year student in the bakery culinary program lah. Certified random sampling was used to select student in this hospitality program from the 22 vocational college in Malaysia. The researcher personally visit visit the vocational college and follow up the official approval about the intention with the principal of the vocational college. After confirmatory with the teacher and the college, the research start to distribute questionnaire to the student according their course, bakery and culinary. Questionnaire was distributed to 80, 841 students in five regions in Malaysia. And generally, the respondents spend 30 minutes to 35 minutes to respond questionnaire completely. Descriptive analysis per sample data was conducted to analyze the data. So, bagus eh. Dia bagi reason. Uh, dalam kes ni, dia pilih alasan kenapa dia, dia gunakan college vocational lah. Uh, so, kat sini dia collect secara secara direct eh. Secara drop off. Eh, sebab dia turun padang dekat, dekat college vocational tu. Untuk program, untuk culinary program, untuk bakery and culinary. Okay, brand image and consumer satisfaction toward Islamic travel package. So, the cerita method, the cerita dulu, the study use the cross-sectional design, quantitative. Okay, the platform, they gunakan uh, Google form to collect the data. This perform is chosen due to features such as linking Google account and doc editor, then data were import into the statistical package. Okay, menarik juga justify dia. Kenapa dia pakai Google account dengan doc doc editor sebab Google form boleh link kat situ kan dan mudahkan untuk analisis gunakan SPSS dan PLS. The questionnaire was the online survey was designed using the simple and unbiased wording so that respondent could easily understand the questions. Okay, table 1 show the summary of setiap soalan itu. Gunakan skala likat 7. Okay. Sample selection, this target population this study was the customer who participate in Islamic travel package from several company offer the Islamic product and services. This study calculate minimum sample size using G-Power software which require a sample size uh, 146 to test the model with the sick predator. The research obtained the least 200 customer who travel in Islamic travel package offer the several company. And email with the online survey link with the send to listed customer 
uh, a total 163 respondent complete the form within a week which was a more than the required sampling size. Okay. So dia nak dapat target dalam G Power nak dapat 146 tapi dia dapat 163. And so dia adjust banyak 2000. Okay. Next uh, shaping um, shaping entrepreneurship uh, and among youngster in Indonesia and shaping entrepreneurship intention among youngster in Indonesia. So kat sini according a former finding as per sure entrepreneurship education is expected to influence entrepreneurship attitude toward entrepreneurship. So menarik kan dia just bagi justify ini pun poin penting juga kan dia nak beritahu kenapa kita nak pilih sampel uh, di kalangan uh, entrepreneurship education. Uh, so untuk mintalah untuk mempengaruhi entrepreneur attitude toward entrepreneurship. So next uh, next paragraph dia ada sebut this research was conducted based on the cross sectional primary data collection which has survey questionnaire with distribute student in the multimedia university. So satu university saja dekat multimedia university Malaysia. So each the construct in the research framework is to present the six indicator to is to analyze the process each indicator for all the construct is labeled as the measurement item. The survey questionnaire was reviewed by several academic ensure that the measurement present the respective construct. Further review was made by several students ensure that questionnaire could be easily understood. Each of the measurement item with questionnaire was measured using the several skala Likert. Okay, uh, based on the statistical viewpoint, original Likert skala scale with Y point is mean that correlate stronger with the observed significant and seven point uh, scale. The measurement accuracy will be less the scale at five points. Okay, the odd the number of scale allow to respond to choose natural feedback instead be forced to either to positive or negative feedback. Because of this, several skala Likert highly suitable. So that's the reason bagi justify lah kenapa dipilih skala Likert tu jom. Okay, amanah and Muslim identity relationship with religious and psychological adjustment in Malaysia. Kita tengok participant dia direct je. Dia cakap uh, participant student international daripada UIA serve as a research participant. Ada 56 lelaki, 5, 153 perempuan were 21 uh, uh, years old and average uh, and average uh, apa dia, SD dia 3 points. The sample include 200 Malays, uh, 3 Indians, uh, 2 Turk, uh, 2 Arab and Kazakhstan. All the students were the Sunni Muslim. A single questionnaire booklet contain English version of the all scale. Uh, jadi ada skala liquid ligma. So as the other related project, procedure maximum internal reliability eliminate item, display negative item to correlate. Scoring all the measure involved the use to average response per item. Okay, yang ni tengok dari segi sustainability of uh, Marine Park from the acknowledged attitude behavior still relevance. So the cheater initial questionnaire was draft based on the past literature and was developed in the English but it was subsequent translated into the Malay and Chinese language using the back translation technique. Okay, Brislin. Okay, they was done to accommodate respondent language. Uh, the pretest was conducted with the panel's expert. Okay, consists the three tourism uh, practitioner. Uh, and the four universities academicians. Oh, so any they based on the pretest. This was followed by respondent pretest that were conduct from the questionnaire. And the, there are three language among three respondent, ten per language based on this feedback uh, from the expert and respondent. A few minor modification was made to wording instruction before the final questionnaire was distributed. Okay, the final questionnaire consists three sections. The first section on in term of measurement. Uh, three dimension of environmental knowledge was asked. The question was to adapt it from Mustafa. Okay, Kaiser and Chuslin. The knowledge issue, the cost is a nine items. So, di kat sini dia beritahu lah uh, questionnaire tu based pada siapa and adopted ataupun adapted. Okay, next. So, data ini akan akhirnya uh, akan akan code and respectively analyze using SPSS version 24 and Smart PLS 3.0 software. Okay, awareness, knowledge, attitude aka the government secondary school students. Uh, method this cross-sectional study, okay, the conduct by 136 governance school. So, adalah sekolah-sekolah dekat sekolah mengingat kebangsaan alam megah 1, alam megah 2, insya Allah. The inclusion criteria participation in study were age, uh, umur 13, 14, 16. The questionnaire was composed that social demography, okay. Uh, with a total 27 question divided through three dimensions, okay. Uh, demography character were summarized using the descriptive statistics. Okay, uh, gunakan pelbagai uh, type analysis uh, termasuk ANOVA, Inability Test, Pearson Correlation. Okay. Alright, uh, parents just does, does understand generational perception education and works. So data used to paper come up with the local special purpose sample with the conduct by the authors. There was 250 juranta employee study. Okay. 
Uh, data from 358 student respondent were the structured questionnaire expectative the student several tertiary education institution what public and private sector there are 40 student participate in several group okay as far demography the student survey respondent uh, just consists of more than female 58 percent than male 42 percent uh, okay among 358 student respondent only 31 parent respond the composition of parent respondent will line with that the student with 77% being Malaysia, the percent we should do is private institutional and 59 elaborate social program. An issue of note that the, the choice of analytical method compares the perception. Okay. So they can see they can use the test and we call the rank. Uh, however, this code is given uh, completely subjectively. Okay, kita tengok methodology quantitative yang detail tadi yang simplify. So kat sini boleh tengok research methodology, tengok research instrument using questionnaire from man, uh, instrument measure the commitment, competency dan lain-lain. Uh, tengok sampling size dia, sampling size this study was calculated using G power version 3.1 based on the power uh, 0.5 effect size of the 0.15 require sampling size 89 to test the model. However, to avoid any possible complication arise to small sample size, this study collected data from 300 micro entrepreneurs residual and four state in Peninsula, Malaysia. Okay, the p-value meridian multivariate ketosis was less 0.05 confirmed the absence the multivariate normality. The finding of the analysis are report are recommended by HAIR. Uh, so, the cerita lah PLS punya indicator dan result. Okay, relationship between human resource management and ethical climate and organization performance. So, cerita lah method quantitative survey uh, was used to approach to exploratory, descriptive and cross-sectional design for apply this study. Uh, the decision to select a type of research design to be used depend on the standing and clearness of the research problem. In this case, the research is required to understand the problem before developing any models. Okay, the research setting was a cross-sectional study and a self-admin hand delivery collection survey questionnaire was used. Uh, data to collect data, reach a respondent, uh, employee ministry education, parastatal board and agency in the seven state of northern Nigeria. And then the last, the selected sample, samples, uh, random stratified sample technique was utilized in the study. A comprehensive population frame employee in the seven state, northern Nigeria is accumulate. Okay. Kalau ikut sample size, kerja muka nak dapatkan 216. Okay, the step, follow the step of the sample to assistant employee to a population have using computer base randomly on the Microsoft Excel program. Okay. The method for analysis used this study was gunakan SAM. Uh, PLS part modeling is appropriate. Finally, PLS part modeling is deep appropriate because it has been successful applied in the estate management related study. Understanding purchase intention towards students. So, cerita dulu mula-mula dekat research method, cerita in generally knowledge that younger generation is the image driven. This, uh, kemudian, uh, the current study also as employee non probability. This approach that play use the exploratory study in the no time consuming. Okay. Alright, ini gambar rajah lah yang kita boleh masukkan juga. And okay, purchase functional of uh, of functional foods to stay fit. Okay, research methodology. Uh, the research only focus on four main variable. Okay, the willingness to purchase functional food is placed that independent variable, while others three pillar place independent variables. Okay, parallel for the from finding the willingness to purchase functional foods. Okay, hence this research is developed based on the combination of the finding previously made other research scholar and the surrounding lifestyle to the respondent. Okay, quantitative analysis will conduct to determine relationship, uh, five scalar records, uh, those range between 15 to 30, uh, brief explanation functionals, uh, further using the SPSS, uh, 200 data were used for statistical analysis. Okay. Improve uh, accessibility and security document management based on the Malaysia case. Okay. Uh, cerita research design, the primary phase of research, define the research problem and kemudian kat bawah tu kalau line warna merah tu, dia cerita the user feedback of the system and other related factor that they consider essential to identify and to gather data to be used to generate new hypothesis. After the survey, the collection data was analyzed to identify the significant factor that should be considered mentioned earlier. Next, a framework solution proposed for the determination storage system based on result and feedback from the second phase of this research. Okay, ini using SQL, okay, untuk generation wise inspections. Uh, the type study are research problems uh, and the research objective uh, can determine the method for data collection. The research is an formal communicate descriptive. 
Okay, uh, the questionnaire was developed. The research was adapted from Kim Su with a few amendments in order to suit the research. The modification were primary grammatically. Okay, the questionnaire consists three parts. First, content filter demography. Okay, aim to the concept respond only for the appropriate respondent. The second part is our answer to regarding the service quality of Malaysia hotels. This part constitute five dimensions. Okay, all right. So this part will also to modify the content in hand. Similar care was taken to change the meaning of the statement with much modification we've done. Sampling method, uh, non-probability judgment sampling were adopted We require research to approach specific target respondent will judge appropriate the provide necessary information. Geography area will the specific distribute. Okay, so for key area, Gombak, Kelang, Ampan, Terjaya were selected to present the Kelang Valley. Okay, sounders and libis also suggest that minimum 200 respondent in business research are adequate. Okay. Okay, then technological capability, rational capability and firm performance. A cluster sampling technique was adopted in this study. Cluster sampling is probability sampling technique that are being used to be studied to cover wide geography area. Okay, uh, consequently, this study area was divided into the three cluster. Okay. okay, survey measurement item for variable in this study was adapted from previous literature. Lah. And so, apa lagi point penting kat sini kita boleh tengok. Uh, okay, next, strategy improvisation and high education institution performance. Uh, construct was measured by seven item in terms of see the popular the study operational performance in union innovation construct and subjectively performance and operationalize its ability to institution to efficiently use the few resources also provide the needs service to the satisfaction in the employee and customer okay analytical procedure using uh, same PLS was C3 okay uh, next, furthermore, Sam Pallas is idea to model analysis because it provide the measurement error. Okay, assess the other outer model involved the reliability. In fact, the use of Sam Pallas, Pallas Sam analysis has been become common in management. Okay, in fact, economic vulnerability and entrepreneurial competency. So, the study had adopt for cross-sectional. Uh, sampling size, the study use the sampling size determined by G power based on the power 0 0.5 social and behavior social science should be exceed 0.8. Which effect size is 0 0.5. If study requires sampling size 89 to test the model. Hence, to hinder to any problem limitation arise. So, they collect data for 300 low income and poor household in the considered Kelantan, Terengganu, Kedah, and Perlis. Okay, research instrument. The questionnaire was adapted. Okay, uh, from previously, data analysis, sample less. Uh, okay, beside because the exploratory nature of the study, estimate the maximum explanation. Okay, understanding and opinion sustainable developments. So kat sini, uh, satu kajian yang mention kat bawah tu, Penang has been chosen as a study uh, because their state have been heavily involved in implementing sustainability among its people. Furthermore, Penang aspire become the first green and sustainable state in Malaysia. Uh, and based pada portal Kerajaan Negeri Pulau Pinang. Uh, next, the questionnaire was adopted from survey study, Mediterranean, uh, was conducted by UNESCO. Okay. Then, uh, According to Tavako and Nick, there are different reports about the acceptable value of the APA, range 0 0.7 to 95. Does international considerability measure use this study acceptable based above 0 0.7? The relationship between workplace, spiritual, the total number of population, kita boleh start terus method, cita participant terus, melibatkan 100 from two different department. Okay, the two public organization will be sought due to the nature of organization in both direct and indirect involvement. In human resource context, the state that is a logical sense of the study such organization. Okay, in the case in a life meaningful, that sense the community have be uh, measured by WPS, the instrument in a life to consist five item developed by uh, Ashmosh and Dashan. Okay, so ada ada skala likat, lima skala likat, and ada tujuh lima skala likat. Sorry. Uh, assess by adopting uh, short terms. Uh, so yeah, ni in order to reduce common method variant do the cross sectional. Okay. The confirmatory factor analysis in order to test proposed model, a web-based question uh, was developed. Okay, initial any difference between these two versions were minimized using the back translation process. Okay, generally, a uh, questionnaire was made examined through the small group actual to user for a target population. Okay, effect a low carbon waste practice used in the study involved G7 construct which, which operate Malaysia Consulting Energy Study fact to advantage of the GC contractor due to the high range partnership in cost project. So, yang ni dia ceritalah kan. Eh? 
The questionnaire will dis direct distribute among construction manager. Data collections. Okay, ni tadi. I measure construct. The content validity also use in this study. Data analysis gunakan step analysis. Okay, the effect of the enhanced primary healthcare interventions. The study was to part of the ENPHP evaluation project and mengikutkan conduct at 40 public primary care clinic. Uh, our study include all, okay, uh, job satisfaction was measured using the following state item. Okay, uh, job satisfaction akan jadi kita punya, kita punya item. I feel that some part of my work do not rely, make sense. Okay, all statements were assessed in uh, sekali keempat. Okay, the response were code in such way that the high score indicate. Indicate higher job satisfaction. Independent respondent characteristic and other detail include age, gender, educational level. Any part of the demography ni. Yeah. Okay, next. Uh, this is cross-sectional study. Uh, okay, apa lagi penting kat sini yang boleh share. Uh, melibatkan klinik sebanyak 27 klinik were involved in this study. A series of in-deep interview, exploring knowledge barrier, facilitator, reporting practice uh, was be uh, involved juga dalam kita punya questionnaire development uh, distribution ni. The questionnaire consists of five part. Ah, ni kalau kita boleh tulis macam ni lah. Kalau kita questionnaire ada lima bahagian, boleh pecahkan macam ni. Question on barrier facilitator use uh, nak cerita, punya cerita skala dikit. Okay, ethical approval. Kadang-kadang kita kena nyatakan juga ethical approval dalam kita punya penulisan artikel. Macam ni lah. America Research and Ethic Committee Minister, International Islamic University approved this study. Uh, Provision was obtained from the perspective director. Okay. Uh, knowledge, attitude and practice cap in study and prevention through design. So, uh, based pada organ elevation, having workshop as a research method, suitable for engaged participants who share common domain have the expected to achieve something related on their interest. Uh, three series of PTD workshop with a total 49 engineers will conduct as a platform to get the data. So kat sini dia buat beberapa workshop lah untuk dapatkan data. Uh, then KAP survey and NLP identify what known what have been implemented regard various safety helps related subject. The key element of KAP study was developed based on the study on Go and Chua complement previous PTD literature construction. So ada bagian general information, questionnaire on the PTD knowledge. Yang next adalah PTD dari segi attitudes. Okay, questionnaire based on PTD practice, dia explain lah eh, macam mana. So, cap yang seterusnya untuk Muslim parent toward vaccine in Malaysia. So, this is descriptive exploratory cross-sectional study among the Malaysia Muslim parents. So, dia collect data berapa bulan kat situ, three months. Okay, the questionnaire world study was designed after through the literature review similar in conduct in Malaysia. Okay, dia akan menggunakan berapa item, 20 item dan gunakan ujaran lebih tiga from Bash Alpha. Okay, kemudian dia gunakan uh, dia punya data untuk kajian ini adalah we collect from 444 respondent through other Google form in the Microsoft Office to access spreadsheet. Okay, kemudian kita cerita metodologi kuantitatif untuk data sekunder lah. Uh, ni contoh the relationship between intellectual capitals, uh, firm and market, a study on the emerging economy. So, dia kat sini digunakan list company and selected and uh, from the holding company. Okay, so data-data ambil daripada tahun 2010 sampai 2018. Therefore, the sample consists 42 company per year. Data panels, 252 company for the six year. Ini contoh-contoh bahan dan data yang diperlukan untuk buat uh, data secondary punya analysis. Data collection based on the Bloomberg database, uh, based pada anal report yang dia perolehi. Okay, itu saja untuk perkongsian kita hari ini untuk uh, bagian metodologi, uh, untuk kuanti, uh, untuk kualitatif dan juga sedikit untuk uh, secondary. Eh? Jadi kalau ada apa-apa soalan boleh tanya. Saya sebenarnya nak nak nak, nak berbincang sebenarnya. Eh? Jadi memang target saya memang setengah jam. Ah, betul setengah jam. So kalau ada apa-apa soalan boleh tanya. Saya rasa saya, saya laju tadi. And baca pun laju sangat. Takut shock sendiri. Jadi uh, sedikit sebanyak... Uh, Kenapa eh? Kenapa saya buat macam ni? Kenapa saya sharekan screenshot ni? Saya pecahkan contoh method ni kan? Method kuanti dan method kuali. So bagi saya ini adalah bagian-bagian yang mungkin kita akan tulis juga dalam kita punya tesis. Jadi kalau nak bina ayat boleh tengok contoh-contoh yang dia beri kat sini lah. Eh? So macam mana dia tulis cerita pasal method dan sebagainya. Elok kualitatif mahu elok kuantitatif saya dah kongsi dalam ni. 
Begitu juga dengan literature review tadi lah. Jadi untuk untuk sesi kita satu hari ni bagi saya bagian yang terpenting adalah introductions, uh, abstract dulu, abstract, introductions, literature review dan metodologi. Ha uh, kan. Eh? Maksudnya kalau nak buat artikel tanpa data dah okey dah. Uh, maksudnya nak buat artikel berbentuk konseptual, artikel berbentuk general review, paper literature review, paper short communication dah okey dah. Eh? So saya cari juga beberapa artikel daripada Malaysia sebenarnya sebab uh, kita biasanya kita pun uh, menulis tesis ataupun research grant dari Malaysia. So kita nak tengok macam mana cara-cara yang baik nak cerita tentang research methodology kalau kita buat kat Malaysia lah. Right? Ada soalan? Saya buka soalan. Kita tak ramai kat sini ada beberapa orang saja. Kita ada lebih kurang tujuh. Uh, kalau dekat bahagian chat kosong eh tak ada tak ada soalan tanya. Uh, ada apa-apa yang saya boleh bantu? Ada sebarang pertanyaan? Saya doktor nak tanya sikit. Uh, sila silakan, sila. Siapa Mas Dia? Okey. Hmm, yang tadi yang pasal dekat literature tu kan? Okey. Yang however. Okey, however itu, tu. Itu uh, dia maksudnya problem statement ya doktor. Ah, uh, tak. However boleh gunakan di mana-mana saja tempat. Bila kita nak beritahu macam ni lah kalau kalau keywords untuk menulis literature review ni sebenarnya nak menemukan research gap. Kita pun kena tahu okay. literature review akan akan menemukan research gap. Kenapa saya kata macam tu? Dekat literature review kita akan review banyak empirical article. Empirical article maksudnya kita akan review artikel-artikel based on the research finding dia. Ha, bukan paper concept eh based on the research finding ni maksudnya dia ada result dan sebagainya. So kat situ kita boleh buat satu conclusion bahawa kajian kita ni banyak scope dia buat topik apa kan. Kalau dia dapat finding dia finding macam mana. So dalam literature review bukan hanya cerita tentang finding tetapi dia guna teori apa, dia guna research design apa, guna method apa. Uh, apa, macam mana dia collect data Macam mana dia guna sampling Apa uh, apa proses analisis yang dia guna Jadi bila kita dah selesai review Dekat literature review Kita akan nampak bahawa Banyaknya kajian buat yang ni Banyaknya kurangnya kajian buat ni So kalau dah banyak orang buat ni Biasanya ada lagi ruang-ruang Yang masih belum dibuat So banyak guna benda yang sama Guna method yang sama Tak pelbagaikan method Banyak kajian menggunakan teori yang sama Padahal dia boleh explore guna teori yang lain itu itu hasil daripada literature review. Okey. Berbalik pada research gap saya sebutkan tadi, bila kita nak meyakinkan kat penilai bahawa penjelasan kita tu ada satu benda yang ada satu satu perkara yang kita boleh berkongsi bahawa melalui penulisan kita, kita nak tunjukkan kontras. Okey. Terdapat beberapa kajian di Asia Tenggara menunjukkan bahawa Uh, hubungannya adalah positif dan signifikan However, beberapa kajian terbaru pada tahun 2022 Menemukan sebaliknya ha, Kita akan gunakan however ha, Jadi however ni nak, nak highlight, nak strengthen bahawa Kita faham bahawa dalam penyelidikan ni Ada ada kajian yang possibility boleh dapat signifikan Ada tak buat signifikan Ataupun saya nak tunjuk benda lain Uh, walaupun kajian di Malaysia sudah banyak and Kajian ini membuktikan memang terdapat hubungan yang positif dan signifikan Namun begitu kajian ini hanya tertumpu kepada golongan yang bekerja Bagaimana juga kepada golongan iaitu pelajar Belum ada lagi kajian yang memfokuskan kepada kajian ini terhadap pelajar Itu boleh gunakan however juga uh, Jadi however ni kita, kita nak buat satu literature review tu jadi bentuk perbincangan Bukan hanya kita cerita je, Mamat ni dapat apa, Siti dapat apa dan sebagainya. So kita nak beritahu lah. Okay? So kita nak beritahu dalam bila orang baca tu, kita akan kata bagus pelajar ni. Dia punya dia punya pemikiran, dia punya cover knowledge dia besar. Ha, dia tak rigid sangat. So dia dia mampu untuk 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 mengawal penulisan dia dalam bentuk perbincangan. Bahawa uh, secara, kalau you buat kuantitatif, Mas Diah buat kuantitatif. Dalam hipotesis kita jelas, kita tak pasti dapatan kita signifikan ataupun tidak. Dia memungkinkan sama ada positif atau negatif, signifikan atau tak signifikan. Jadi kita sebenarnya menulis literature review janganlah bias. Kan? Kita 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 akan menampakkan dalam situasi yang 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 memungkinkan. Ha. Namun begitu, 
Ya, kita kenalah yakin dengan hipotesis yang kita bina. Kalau kita hipotesis yang kita bina tu adalah menunjukkan H1 kita adalah merujukkan kepada terdapat hubungan yang positif dengan signifikan, jadi kita bias sikit kat situ lah. Ha, contohnya terdapat beberapa kajian di luar negara membuktikan dapatan yang pelbagai. And, uh, yang ada dapat positif dengan signifikan. Namun di Malaysia sebagai sebuah negara yang sedang membangun dengan capacity, dengan structure, capability, dengan expertise, dengan pembelajaran semua yang baik, di Malaysia memungkinkan menemui dapatan yang positif berkaitan dengan hubungan antara A dan B. Just through itu, hipotesis ini adalah menunjukkan terdapat hubungan yang positif dengan signifikan. Ha, jadi kalau dalam penulisan literature review sangat penting. Jadi however tadi tu, kalau you tengok tadi, kalau you tengok betul yang saya kongsikan tadi tu, bukan hanya tulis dekat bahagian problem statement dekat chapter 1. Dan kita perbincangan however tadi adalah duduk dekat literature review. Ha, dan literature review tu dia sangat ada kepelbagaian. Contoh-contoh tadi ada duduk dekat bahagian awal-awal perenggan, ada duduk kat tengah-tengah. Ha, jadi dia pelbagai keadaan lah. Tak ada satu istilah yang dikatakan, oh dia tulis however cuma duduk kat belakang-belakang je. Kat depan-depan literature review tak boleh nak tulis. So kat sini adalah kreativiti dalam menulis, dalam kita nak menyelitkan perkataan however tu dalam penulisan artikel kita sangat digalakkan supaya orang tahu bahawa kita punya aras thinking kita tinggi. Ayana, kalau siapa mampu gunakan in contrast, uh, however, maksudnya kita faham tentang topik tu. Dan penulisan dalam PhD, penulisan dalam artikel memang menuntut dengan penggunaan perkataan however tu. Eh? Tak faham doktor. Lepas tu kan, um, dia kena cited tak sebenarnya? Kena cited lah kalau fakta. Ha, kalau you menyentuh fakta, kena cite lah. Contoh dah kata, saya katakan contoh, ada lima kajian. Lima kajian, empat kajian tu membuktikan satu dapatan yang positif. Ada sumber dia. Kajian Ali, Abu, Siti. Ha, beberapa kajian terbaru di Asia Tenggara oleh Siti, Abu, Ali. Memang menemukan dapatan yang positif. Saya kena cite lah. Namun begitu, berapa kajian terbaru di Malaysia menemukan dapatan negatif. Fakta tu, ada pengkaji dia. Jadi kat situ kena side lah. Ha, kena side lah. Tak boleh kita buat argument. Kalau kita buat argument itu, itu adalah conclude. Ha, kalau conclude tak apa. Ha, tapi kalau fakta kita tak letak citation, tak boleh. Ya? Fakta kena ada citation. Kalau tidak, nanti statement kita tak meyakinkan lah yang bila fakta tak side. Ha? Eh? Okay, fine. Thank you. Fakta, fakta kena saya. Yang yang kita kena faham tentang bila menulis artikel ke, baca tesis ke, baca apa ke, memang kita cari fakta. Kita cari fakta. Okey, ini fakta dia, fakta, fakta dia. Jangan salin ayat. Ambil fakta aje. So bila bila kita nak menulis, kalau kita salin dengan ayat-ayat, itu ada jadi literature review tu semua kita ambil, ayat dia pun kita ambil, fakta pun kita ambil. Kita cuma ambil fakta aje. Gunakan creativity creativity kita dalam menulis literature review dengan menggunakan olahan ayat kita sendiri tetapi mengengkalkan fakta. Ha, jadi sebab itulah kadang-kadang tujuan bila kita baca artikel, jumpa mana-mana ayat, simpan. Sedapnya ayat ni. Walaupun kajian tu tak kajian dengan kita, tak berbeza. Tapi ayat itu memang boleh digunakan nanti kalau untuk kita menulis literature review contohnya, itu sangat membantu. Ha, sebab tu tadi kita bedah dekat literature review kalau you tengok, kita bedah ke literature review macam-macam orang menulis kan. Ha, jadi ada kepelbagaian. Itu juga motif saya nak share petang ni adalah bahawa nak menulis literature review tu bukan satu satu style je. Ha, jadi kena 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 tahu memanglah kita kita ada kita ada cara kita sendiri tapi sebenarnya kita kena faham bahawa orang yang menulis literature review ada pelbagai gaya. So kita mana yang positif kita ambil lah. Eh? Ha, dan kat sini kelemahan yang saya saksikan dan saya jumpa banyak student buat ataupun rakan-rakan pesara buat adalah mengulang-ulang menggunakan perkataan. Contohlah saya suka saya sendiri ada kelemahan saya dulu saya banyak gunakan perkataan according to, lepas tu sikit-sikit based on, based on. Saya banyak guna perkataan based on. And kemudian, uh, uh, saya gunakan uh, based, uh, bukan based, but according to, okay, according apa lagi satu lagi ya. Eh? Therefore, from this study, uh, in addition, saya pusing-pusing kat situ je. So, bila 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 saya menulis, saya tak perasan. Tapi bila orang lain, bila orang review artikel saya nampak, dia kata, Fazli ni menulis macam orang tak ada ayat. Dia, dia dah habis. Nah, fakta bagus, fakta banyak. Tapi nak mengolah ayat tu dia tak ada writing skill yang dia ada. Ha, jadi betul, statement tu betul. Jadi saya masa menulis pun saya start kat situ. Bukan tak boleh nak tulis, boleh. Semua bahan dah cukup, cukup. Tapi bila nak menulis tu, saya banyak kehilangan ayat. Jadi bila bila kita tahu kelemahan kita tu, sikit sebanyak kalau baca artikel tu, mana-mana ayat yang saya rasa membantu saya atas, atas tiket kelemahan saya tu, 
saya kena simpan lah ayat-ayat tu bila saya tulis artikel nanti okey saya saya akan menggunakan ayat itu ha, sama ada menggunakan ambil ataupun saya ubah sesuai sedikit supaya saya tak dihilang dalam fakta tak ada nak menjelaskan fakta tu kadang-kadang disebabkan pembinaan ayat saya tak cukup kuat akhirnya fakta yang solid fakta yang kuat jadi lemah kita tak nak jadi fakta kita lebah padahal fakta tu strong tapi disebabkan cara menulis kita tu lemah automatically fakta tu macam nampak kurang penting sebab tu pentingnya dengan penanda wacana macam however tadi kan pentingnya kita kena visualkan dalam bentuk image adanya perbandingan kita susun kronologi dalam tables pentingnya kita visualizekan gambar rajah supaya orang nampak kita faham kita boleh apply dalam perspektif dalam penulisan mungkin orang tak nampak dalam visualize orang boleh nampak eh ha, yang tu sangat penting sebab tu saya nampak kata tadi lepas however saya buat literature review ayat-ayat penulisan nak menggambarkan research gap ha, sebenarnya research gap duduk dekat, dekat literature review ha, sebab tu dah siap dekat literature review kena update dekat problem statement Ha, kan? Problem statement tak mampu dibina Dengan bacaan research background saja Tak mampu untuk tulis problem statement yang baik Problem statement yang asas boleh lah Daripada research background boleh come out dengan basic problem statement Tapi the final problem, uh, final problem statement yang dapat dihasilkan adalah Bergantung sejarah mana kita deep atau regress menulis literature review Especially menulis review secara regress Berkaitan dengan empirical article Sejauh mana kan. Kalau kita punya alasan selalu cakap artikel tak ada lah. Eh, tak banyak artikel yang kita dapat lah. Eh, tapi you kena faham kalau kalau you cakap macam tu. Macam mana you nak nak defense kenapa topik ni penting. Eh, kenapa pengkajian topik ini dipilih. Eh, kan? Jadi semuanya bergantung. Dari segi method pun semua bergantung dekat literature review. Kenapa you decide nak buat case study based on literature review. Kenapa nak pakai sampling teknik ni because of literature review. So, literature review apa? Literature review adalah membekalkan maklumat yang berkaitan, semua berkaitan dengan objektif kajian. Jadi, saya menulis literature review because nak jawab objektif kajian. Jadi, literature review membekalkan maklumat untuk objektif kita lah. Termasuklah kalau objektif, termasuk research question dan juga hypothesis. Okay, ada soalan lain? Ada ada soalan-soalan lain nak tanya? Nanti saya share video video pagi tadi dan video uh, video tu tak apalah video tu sebenarnya saya lebih kepada nak nak tunjuk idea kenapa slide ni berguna lah. Kan? So kita nak menulis artikel, so kita kena belajar penulisan artikel yang berbentuk simplify bagaimana kan uh, kalau tulis artikel ni kena pandai eh kadang-kadang ada jurnal tu minta kita tulis, tulis 5 muka surat je kan ada 6 muka surat kadang-kadang tak sampai 10 muka surat jadi kita kena make it short kan dalam dalam thesis kita tulis banyak jadi kita kurang arif kurang pengalaman apa yang nak tulis dalam bahagian metodologi so sedikit sebanyak tadi saya tunjuklah apa yang patut kita tulis dalam bahagian metodologi ha, sedikit sikit idea tu memang memang tak boleh lari lah kalau kita buat kuanti And artikel tadi pun dah tunjuk orang kuanti Cerita yang sama lah Guna research design apa Cuma kita nampak ada contoh Menarik kan Tulis satu perenggan je research design Lepas tu cerita tentang uh, Proses tentang populasi and sampling So macam mana sampling frame dia Macam mana sampling teknik dia Macam mana dia gunakan sampling size Okay Kemudian dia cerita tentang instruments Okay Dia gunakan instrument apa So kalau soal sidik Dia adopt ke adapt Kemudian questionnaire tu Dah hantar dekat expert So hantar ke expert Siapa expert dia So dah buat penambahbaikan Lepas tu dia go through the pilot So bila go through the pilot So sidik tu boleh ditambah baik lagi So pergi data sebenar So apa analisis yang nak guna Apa software yang nak guna Jadi kita nampak dah Momentum nak cerita Dekat bagian metodologi Apa yang patut dia tulis Ha, itu tujuannya kenapa reason kita pergi bedah So kadang-kadang kita tengok satu artikel kita kurang yakin Tengok artikel kedua, tengok artikel ketiga, keempat, kelima Dan kita nampak pattern it Oh sebenarnya tulis tulis bagian method Bagian metodologi ni akhirnya dapat membentuk benda yang sama je ha, Jadi supaya nanti bila kita kita submit artikel kita Panel akan komen Of course panel akan komen People is subjective ha, Manusia tetap akan melihat perkara-perkara yang pelbagai Mungkin kita rasa okey tapi panel ada rasa tak okey So tapi sekurang-kurangnya kita dah menyelesaikan perkara-perkara yang big lah Perkara yang besar 
supaya pembetulan kita nanti yang, yang minor. Maksudnya pembetulan sorry, kita punya di review artikel kita tak di reject. Sama ada dapat urusan minor atau major, okey, acceptable. And, jadi kita kena fulfillkan beberapa perkara yang penting. Tapi of course yang benda ni kena ingat sampai bila-bila. So jangan terlalu depends. Okey, this is a good start. And this is a good start slide ni. Okay, video ni good start. Tetapi kita kena menulis dekat Jurnal yang kita pilih. So jurnal yang kita pilih untuk kita submit tu kena tengok style tulis method dia macam mana. Uh, mungkin sedikit berbeza dengan apa yang saya kongsi kan. Jadi kita kena belajar hormat tempat jurnal yang kita nak hantar. Saya nak tulis metodologi. Buka dekat jurnal yang kita nak submit tu study, investigate metodologi dia. Saya nak tulis literature review. Uh, kena tengok dekat macam mana tulis literature review dia. Mungkin kebetulan sama. Okey, memang betul. Betul lah apa yang kita cover hari ini. Dekat literature review dia banyak menggunakan istilah however. So dalam literature review banyak mengupaskan tentang menggambarkan research gap. So dalam literature review dia banyak menggunakan visual table dan figure. So macam mana nak buat? So slide ni membantulah. So sedikit sebanyak slide ni akan bantu dari segi action dan tindakan macam mana nak buat. Namun begitu, fasa untuk menyiasat itu memang safe punya lah. Kita lah kena siasat. Saya nak hantar kat jenis A dan saya kena siasat lah kat jenis A. Ha, jadi kita tak boleh terus terus buat dan terus submit. So you kena tahu jenis ni ada gaya, ada standard dia. So every single section. So nak tengok abstract, kena tengok abstract dia. Berapa banyak nak tulis introduction? Berapa perenggan nak tulis introduction? Perenggan ni macam mana dia tulis? Ayat macam mana yang dia tulis? Adakah visual dan table dekat bagian introduction? Macam mana dia opening dalam introduction? Apa yang dia buat dekat closing dekat bagian introduction? So yang tu semua kena investigate. And tu usaha kita untuk investigate jurnal tu untuk mendapatkan kepastian supaya kita mencapai standard. Artikel kita mencapai standard untuk terbit dalam jurnal itu. Ha. So template uh, Tun Khadija kena faham setiap jurnal, eh, setiap jurnal dia ada own template. Okay, kalau you nak hantar dekat Emerald, okay, Emerald ada template dia. You nak hantar dekat Taylor, Taylor ada dia punya template dia. Ada setengah-setengah jurnal dia buat own template. Dalam satu publisher yang sama kadang-kadang dia ada different-different template. Ada setengah ada setengah jurnal memang dia tak bagi template, dia bagi outline je. Ha, dia bagi tahulah guna time news roman, pakai single spacey. Ha, so dia bagi tahu tu cara-cara nak buat citation, format citation, format reference. So dia dia kalau saya bagi template So nanti katalah saya bagi template A, you hantar kat jurnal B. Memang memang tak kena lah sebab consider dia dekat jurnal itu ada template dia. So Tun Khatijah pergi dekat jurnal yang kita nak hantar. Okay pergi dekat website dia, dekat bahagian author guideline. Dekat situ ada maklumat dia. Ha, kalau dia ada sediakan kat template, memang dia minta kita download template je. So kita download template tu, kita ikut template tu. Ha, and kita kena buka dekat website, pergi dekat author dia, information doctor, author dekat line. Dekat situ kalau ada template, kita boleh download. Ataupun dia akan jelaskan. Maksudnya dia tidak ada specific template. So kita buat dia ikut seperti mata yang dia perjelaskan dalam dia punya author guideline. Nanti editing untuk kita punya tu, itu tugas editor. Editor yang akan buat final editing untuk mungkin dia ada apa orang kata header dan sebagainya tu. Itu tugas editor. Kita sekadar ikut seperti mana yang diarahkan dalam author guideline. Alright. So jurnal ada, jurnal ada kita boleh kata as a total kita ada ratusan ribu uh, jurnal. Uh, setiap jurnal dia ada template yang berbeza-beza. Very pun, walaupun different dia very mild, uh, tapi tetap berbeza. Kita tak nak nanti tiba-tiba Tun Khatijah pakai saya punya template Emerald. Tun Khatijah hantar pula jurnal dekat UKM. Padahal jurnal dekat UKM tu ada template dia sendiri. Sah-sah kena reject sebab you gunakan template yang saya bagi daripada Emerald. Uh, itu tak boleh sebenarnya. Okay. Bukan tak bagi, bukan bukan saya tak bagi. Kalau kata saya nak minta template saya ada lah, template saya selalu hantar dekat Emerald. Kalau nak template Emerald saya boleh bagi. Ha, kalau you nak hantar, saya biasa hantar dekat Inner Science. Kalau you nak hantar dekat Inner Science, template Inner Science saya ada. Okey, tapi kalau you nak hantar dekat UKM, ha, so kat UKM jurnal mana? Okey, kalau jurnal Geografia, Geografia saya ada lah template dia. Ha, kan? Ha, kalau you nak hantar jurnal dekat dekat UTM Malaysia, ha, jurnal Teknologi atau jurnal Sains Humanika, saya ada lah template dia. Ha, contoh template itu pun sebenarnya saya saya kalau saya tak bagi pun you pergi je dekat website tu boleh download. Ha, so dia memang ada template dia. Ha. Setiap jurnal ada template. Setiap jurnal ada website dia sendiri. So memang kita nombor satu wajib kalau kita dah decide nak hantar jurnal kat situ memang website dia kita kena 
open, kita kena explore, tengok dia punya outer guideline, kena tengok dalam setahun berapa isu yang dia keluar, kena buka semua artikel dia sebab kita nak tengok spek dia, macam mana dia tulis abstract, macam mana dia punya cara penulisan, berapa ramai jumlah authors dia, and kalau paling banyak empat, so kita pun empat saja. So tajuk dia sebut tak nama Malaysia, ada sebut nama negara ke, kalau semua artikel dalam tu tak sebut negara, jadi tajuk kita pun tak ada nama negara. Ha, kan? Semua benda tu kena ambil kira So tengok dalam literature review dia So dia buat literature review banyak tak Buat figure ke visual banyak Jadi kita pun kena buat banyak So kena tengok bagian conclusion pendek ke panjang And Conclusion dia pun dua muka surat So kita kena buat conclusion pun dua muka surat Jadi part-part tu memang Part investigation Seperti mana yang kita bincang semalam Dekat bagian tips yang nombor dua Kalau kita ingat tip yang pertama adalah Berkaitan dengan pemilihan jurnal Tip yang kedua adalah berkaitan investigate menyiasat jurnal. So menyiasat jurnal tu antara bahagian yang penting di peringkat awal sebelum kita kita specific macam inilah ini dah lebih kepada pada content. So apa nak tulis dalam abstract, apa nak kena tulis dalam uh, pengenalan, apa yang nak kena tulis dalam metodologi. Ha, jadi untuk untuk yang yang ke depan nanti bila ada rezeki nanti uh, benda tu memang saya tak prepare proper lagi sebenarnya. Okey kalau saya tengah mengumpul koleksi untuk menulis bahagian seterusnya adalah bahagian result plus dapatan perbincangan dan kesimpulan. Macam tadi jugalah. Jadi kita akan dapat complete set uh, perbincangan tentang bedah artikel bukan daripada tajuk saja, dia ada tajuk, dia ada introduction, dia ada literature review, ada method, ada result, ada discussion, ada conclusion. So complete lah kan bedah tu kan untuk dapatkan tu. Doktor, bedah bahagian penyataan masalah doktor. Apa dia? Penyataan masalah. Dalam introduction tadi kan ada. Dia dalam tu lah dia maksudnya dia, dia, dia tak ada lah macam spesifik. Maksudnya dia, dia dalam, dalam kali. Dalam pengenalan. Ha, dia dalam pengenalan. Ha, dia dalam pengenalan. Dia dia tak dia, dia tak perlu ada. Okey dalam tulisan artikel tulis penyataan masalah tak ada. So dia dalam pengenalan. Katalah dalam dalam penulisan artikel tu pengenalan ada tiga perenggan. So mungkin dekat perenggan pertama dan perenggan dua tu dalam penyataan masalah. Ha, tulis pengenalan dalam sebuah artikel kadang tak perlu banyak. Ada yang tulis tiga perenggan, ada yang tulis lima perenggan, ada yang tulis enam perenggan. So penyataan masalah boleh berada dekat perenggan mana-mana lah. Ha, dia mungkin bukanlah perenggan yang terakhir dan bukan perenggan yang yang second last. Biasanya penyataan masalah ni duduk dekat perenggan awal sama ada perenggan dua, perenggan satu kadang-kadang kita intro kan. Dia duduk dekat perenggan dua atau perenggan yang ketiga. Ha, so duduknya. Kalau kita tengok artikel, you sendiri buka lah mana-mana artikel yang ada sekarang. Cuba tengok dia punya dekat bagian pengenalan. Penyataan masalah kadang-kadang satu baris, satu dua baris dia tulis. Eh? Penyataan masalah kadang-kadang dia tulis satu perenggan je kalau banyak. Paling tidak pun cuma tiga baris, dua baris, satu baris dia tulis penyataan masalah itu. Dia berbeza dengan tesis. Itu membezakan penulisan penyataan masalah di dalam artikel jurnal dan juga dalam artikel, sorry, dalam tesis. Dan kadang-kadang you kena tahu bahawa Uh, kalau dalam tesis kita ada spesifik kan penyataan masalah kan jadi kalau tanya saya penyataan masalah itu duduk dekat bahagian introduction tetapi research gap nah ini ramai yang tak tahu kan research gap memang duduk dekat literature review sebab tu tadi bila kita tengok literature review banyak orang cerita pasal research gap duduk dia dekat literature review sebab literature review boleh tulis banyak jadi orang akan conclude sebab tu kalau baca literature review perenggan yang tak boleh missing adalah dua perenggan terakhir Ha, saya kalau baca literature review, dua peringan terakhir tak best. Ha, memang tak best lah literature dia. So, dua peringan terakhir dalam literature review adalah our conclusion. So, kita nak nak menggambarkan. So, ha, bila dah selesai buat literature review ni, apa yang kita boleh conclude kan? Ha, kita conclude lah bahawa banyak researcher sebelum ni yang dikaji hanya melibatkan dari segi aspek ni. Aspek teoretikal, Berkisar begini ha, Banyaknya orang cover tentang tajuk ni Banyak menggunakan teori ni ha, Itu beras aspek teoritikal Aspek metodologikal ha, Banyaknya kajian yang buat kualitatif And tak banyak orang buat dalam mixed method lagi ha, Maksudnya kalau data Banyak yang data guna data yang bawah 100 Tak banyak lagi gunakan data yang besar Kalau tunjukkan sampling Banyak akan gunakan sampling tu Berbentukkan probability sampling Tak banyak lagi non probability sampling okay, Kalau nak cerita sampling size Banyak yang gunakan kerajaan Morgan, tak banyak lagi gunakan G power So kalau in term of analysis Banyak yang gunakan quantitative analysis Tak banyak guna inductive analysis Banyak yang boleh Didiskusikan dalam 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 conclusion 
dalam chapter 2 dalam literature review tu. Ha, tu baru method belum masuk empirical. Banyak finding ni hanya mendapatkan finding yang yang berbentuk uh, positivism eh maksudnya apa yang teori sebut finding itu yang ditemukan. Tak banyak menemukan dapatan yang sebaliknya ataupun dapatan itu hanya menggambarkan dapatan yang tidak terlalu deep, hanya terlalu umum, tidak ada satu dapatan yang secara deep yang secara khusus secara spesifik. And ada kajian yang bercepat banyaknya kajian yang buat tapi ambil sikit-sikit belum ada kajian berbentuk komprehensif itu elemen-elemen yang you kena konkludkan you perlu bincangkan dekat bagian literature review lagi-lagi dua atau tiga peringan terakhir dalam bagian literature ah tu tips dia tips dia kalau baca artikel jangan lupa nak baca tiga peringan terakhir dalam literature ha, itu sangat penting eh Okay, ada lagi soalan? Okay, kalau tak ada apa-apa, rasanya dah tak ada tu. Okay, kalau tak ada soalan. Tapi tak apa kan, kalau kita ni selama 2 bulan masih ada dalam grup tu. Okay, kalau ada apa-apa nak tanya soalan, boleh terus tanya dekat grup lah kan. Eh. Kalau ada apa-apa yang bila dah refer slide balik, bila dah tengok video dan uh, sebenarnya video ni dia kena sekali dengan slide kan sebab saya tadi pun baca je kan sebab ada part yang saya interpret ada part yang saya baca ha, baca cepatlah sebab kita nak move ke satu slide ke satu slide yang lain saya mohon maaf uh, memang memang tak dapat diperkemaskan dengan baik bila kita saya nak cover 500 slide kan uh, saya pun tadi macam mengantuk-mengantuk juga nak cover nak baca slide tu okey uh, penting feedback eh penting soalan-soalan tapi tak saya faham Mungkin yang ayah had ada yang on off on off. Jadi kalau dah refer video ni, dah refer slide nanti kalau nak tanya boleh tanya kat group WhatsApp. So reason perbezaan besar hari ni dengan semalam. Semalam kita cuma nampak dari segi bahasa lemen cerita tentang tip and tricks. Hari ni buat kita nampak sebenar macam mana rupa abstract, macam mana rupa pengenalan literature review dan metodologi. So cara berbeza, cara menulis. Jadi kalau you tengok kalau you perasan tadi, cara menulis metodologi untuk bidang kuali dengan cara menulis metodologi bidang kuali takif banyak perbezaan dia. Jadi kita tak boleh pukul sama rata lah cara method ni sama je kuali kuali kuantiti. Tidak, dia ada perbezaan. Okey. Uh, mohon maaf atas kekurangan dan kesilapan untuk hari ini. Uh, jadi kita jumpa di minggu depan. Uh, ada slot lagi minggu depan pada uh, Sabtu dan Ahad malam. Walaupun jadual saya kena ada perubahan kalau you perasan sebab saya dapat jadual dari universiti, saya kena ngajar Jumaat malam. Ha, jadi saya tak boleh buat Jumaat malam. So, gantilah Sabtu malam dan juga Ahad malam. Okay. Alright, kita jumpa minggu depan. InsyaAllah, semoga apa yang kita cover hari ini mendapat manfaat dan dapat meningkatkan pengetahuan, meningkatkan keyakinan kita bahawa uh, banyak yang kita masih lagi kita kena belajar dalam memantapkan penulisan kita dalam sebuah artikel jenis. Okay, insyaAllah kita jumpa lagi. Terima kasih semua. Assalamualaikum dan selamat sejahtera.